Jay Valentine. And this is the Army Money Podcast, the yeah. authority, authority on all things R&B. Yeah. We going to get into some real entertainment, Jay Valentine. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Because part slash, of being, slash, 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 being slash. an R&B singer, <laughs> being, whatever you are, you got to be able to entertain you should be able to. at a high high level yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't i don't want to waste a lot of time on the intro because he does so many things he's, he's, he's acting comedian you know, comedian yeah yeah basketball player but listen he, hoop. He, he put hooper <laughs> yeah, on there yeah it, yeah hoopers have to play defense i don't know i don't know if he's a hooper I mean, he's just a scorer he's just a scorer ladies oh, and gentlemen God. flex alexander in the field, yeah. man. <laughs> Listen, I played defense. I played defense. You did yes. not play. At that, listen, I did it all in college. At that stage of my life, I'm not playing defense. You did <laughs> in, my, in my 30s. I'm done with defense. Did you ever get a chip in the elite? Uh, no, no, man. We got no. close. We they got used close. to do flex dirty, though. They, oh. they would throw flex. He would be like, oh, well, you got flex. And then it would be nobody else yeah, on his team. I, I would have yeah, the, the one time I, remember that. I had a great team, but nobody showed up. It was me, Justin Timberlake, Ice Cube. Snoop Dogg, that everybody team. at tours, and everybody was on tour. Everybody, I remember tours. that team. We were still at Crossroads. So I was left with yes, I was yep. still left with me, and then the cousin of Ice Cube. You know what I mean? It was like <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. Ice Cube's son, who's not of age, but oh still he's playing. It was terrible. It, 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 we had one. We went to one championship at the uh, I think it was uh, it was Staples Center. I believe it was Staples Center, and that was the closest. Chance we had and 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 yeah we didn't get it. What I got there? I got three in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he you know, you, he, 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 he always I you got know, my little one. Manipulated. He was always able to was, maneuver. I, I didn't maneuver nothing. You know, was able I to did, stay with I certain teams. I didn't maneuver anything. Oh, come on, Tank. I didn't. He maneuver. was able to stay with certain teams. It was me, and, was, Jamie Foxx, of course, Dave Brown. <laughs> Guess who I saw the other day? Oh, my center. Kenneth Creer. Oh, Big Kenneth Creer. Big Kenneth. Big Kenneth. Yeah. And yeah. then I had my three point shooter. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, had a good squad. Corey Hart. I, Corey Hart. Oh, Corey. Corey hit that and then too, we yeah. had uh, Lil Charlie play, Burrell. He didn't play no defense either. No, no, but. of course not. <laughs> we, I needed him to shoot threes. That's it. Chacha going to shoot three. That's yes, it. Yes, yes. We had Charlie yeah. Burrell and uh, Marcus Polk. Oh, oh, so oh, you got hold the, up, yeah, hold up. They just gonna hound Broderick. people. They gonna hound people. Yeah, we have Broderick. Yeah, no, Broderick so we had the hounds. Bigs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had two bigs. Yeah, they had huh? two bigs. But but Broderick wasn't, wasn't a big. Broderick wasn't a big. You big? He was a big. Broderick was, he was big, a big. He wasn't that a big. Shooter. Broderick played three point. He always yeah, played, that was his downfall was, though. He should have been in that and on that outside that extended foul line extended. That he was being six five in the E league. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, he shooting threes. He was just like shooting threes. One year I had I was with. Harvey Mason. Mm. Uh, that's a but, good. That's all you needed. But Kenny Lofton was, you know, crying. Like, oh, that's my boy. But he was like, oh, I want him on my team because they played together. And then they took him off my team oh. and got them together. So I had it was me. It was it was Harvey Mason and Deion Taylor, director. Oh yeah, oh, Deion, yeah. Deion, Deion ball. Deion he ball. But as soon as they took Harvey, we was just like we we just fell apart. But Dude, Deion, it was it, it, yeah. bro. It was. It was. I was telling my son that I was like, yo, we felt like. Every Sunday we was in the league. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. dudes coming in. I would come in for with my suit on from church. Hey. Like, let me, <laughs> let me go change <laughs> and get rubbed down. Yeah. Put some tape on this yeah, ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some tape. I always taped the ankles. We had to snap away. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, that was that was, was beautiful. The, days, bro. the travel yeah. games was dope too. Talk about it. Listen, I, I remember. Remember we got our ass kicked by the Chicago Sky. I tell that okay. story all the so time. So check us out. So check us out. We in the we in the locker room, I tell the right? Story all the time. We in the locker room. Everybody's like, "You gonna go out there?" You know, Tank like, "Get yeah, me, just just give me the ball." And then Brian McKnight, he's like, "Yeah, we you know it. We got everybody's like, yeah. And I'm like, "Look, fellas, I, they professional." Me, I told just, you guys. They no, were I was on your team. I was on your side. No, I'm with that. I kept screaming, at "Everybody!" And hey, I was telling them too. I was like, "Yo, play. y'all, listen, yo, it ain't gonna just be no walk." But mm-hmm. I mean, they ran. I, they beat us by like 47 points. It was ridiculous. When they filed yeah. Michael Clark Duncan, God rest his soul, yes, across his chest, <laughs> and he <laughs> fell to the ground, like, like he hit the ground. They let him out. Yeah, I said, Jesus yeah. Christ, what yeah. If, 
What have we gotten ourselves? I mean, it was it was it was a lesson. Now, I, my highest level was college ball, but pro it goes to a different level. Yeah. And just watching, nobody was going for shots; they were going to spots. Mm-hmm. They just constantly moved. It's their profession. I, I, it was crazy. But I called it like I said. I said at one point because the first half they weren't doing that. First half we were just going back and forth. Yeah, still, yeah. they were up by twenty. They but still, <laughs> they were, they were just going back. Yeah, and forth. Yeah, yeah. But the second half they started talking in a different language. Different. Hey, shit, forty-five. Yeah. Not, forty, rip it, and, rip and, rip and girls started disappearing, disappearing and reappearing on the other side of the court. And I was like, it was crazy. <laughs> Where did she go? I, Is listen, she shooting? And I'm like, just does, does he know about the night before? Or he doesn't know since he's your teammate. And we should we at least give him insight? Well, to. Uh, it was his fault. It was whose fault? It was all Tank's fault. Why was it his fault? Because he goes to like a Dave and Buster's. We were at the Dave and Buster's. He was there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I didn't know. We he didn't. starts challenging them. Oh, I didn't know that. A friend of mine who's a sports agent calls me oh. and says, hey, um, your guy Tank, he's like challenging some of my clients and they said they're going to kick his ass tomorrow. I did not know that. I was that. going crazy at Dave and Buster's. That. Matter of fact, wait a minute. No, no, no. I was there. I, I, I was going crazy. I, I, took us all. I lost the shootout to the. I can't remember who the <laughs> oh little, little, little white God. girl shooter was, but I was like, I'm about, to, oh, I'm about to bust your ass. Oh. I think she beat me about thirty on the shooting game. I, I was like, that's 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 not gonna happen on the real court. But I, and I was talk. I kept talking. I guess you did. I'm like, y'all not gonna. Uh, y'all don't know what this is. This grown man oh, business. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I, it was it was. Bad. I had twenty one. I, I mean, but see, yeah. there, there, yeah. there, and you have it, right? There, there you have it. That's I had twenty one. That summed everything that's up. Because right. in the first up. half, and when I saw, <laughs> when I saw nothing was working, I said, I said for the team, nah, fuck the team. <laughs> oh my, yo, that was that was crazy, man. That was that was crazy. It that was, was the best. It was it was it, that reminded me of a time. I think it was before you you got in the league. Um, we did. Uh, 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 we went and we practiced with the uh, the dream the Olympic team. Oh wow! We, yeah, we got it was Lisa Leslie, Teaspoon, all of them, oh, that's and Van crazy. Chancellor was the coach. And he, and he set us up. Now, guys, I don't want you to go in there and hurt my girls. Now we're gonna take it easy. Now we're gonna just play. It's gonna be a little little practice. Get them ready. Just get them sweating. Man, we go out there, same thing. They picking, checking, run playing, block, boom, running, play. Like yo, we like all right. We start talking, and it didn't end up good. Not at all. And Lisa Leslie was just, I mean, just, it was easy. So you're 0 and 2 against the WNBA? 0 and 2. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you're only 0 and 1. I'm proud yeah. to say no. it. No. I'm no proud. Yes, you're 0 and 1. We'd never be the WNBA. No, because remember, remember some of the. Um, no, 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 that, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Let me do it. I, I have to do it. Let me do it. I have to do it. When some of the, when they, that the uh, girls from the Sparks. Play in the Play E-League. Playing the E-League. Man, that, it's not the same. It, it's not. It's not the it's same. Not, bro. Those are the girls that got cut. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> absolutely not. That's not true. That's not true. It don't count. They, and listen, it and, count. and so what? They was on another team. They it lost. I'm taking my count. win. Get out of here. Get, Get out, out of here. Um, Flex, you are, a, you are, I don't even say friend of, a friend of the family. You are a of family course, of the family. Man. You are yeah, beyond man. that. We've yes, been sir. doing this for many moons. Many moons, yeah, man. Many, many a Sunday. Yes, sir. So, First of all, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for and, having me, man. And um, you know, like we do on this R&B Money podcast, like we like to go back to the root of a thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's go yes. back to Harlem, the, man. The beginning oh, man. of a yeah. thing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Where, does, where, where does all this start? Where does okay. all this start to be? It all starts for me. Well, a lot of people think I can't. I, 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 I'm from Harlem, but I'm actually from the Bronx. Are you from the oh, Bronx? Yeah, from the, yeah, from the South Bronx, uh, 170, 174th, and, and Clinton Ave, Clinton Towers. And um, I moved to Harlem at some point. Uh, I forgot where, what year I was in Harlem, but I lived there. Uh, my cousin over in Riverton, across from Lincoln Projects, worked at Pam Pam, right? That's where the Alicia Keys shot the You Don't Know My Name got video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked there, man. You oh, know. you worked there? Oh, I worked there. I was up there. Like, we got uh, bacon, egg, and cheese on the road. <laughs> yeah. Orange juice with ice. You know, I, I, you know, I was trying to do my thing, man. Um, but yeah, started in the Bronx, you know, came up. Uh, you know, mom's grandmother was the ones in the house holding everything down. Mom's had like three jobs. My brothers, you know, my brother went to the service. My other brother was doing his thing. And uh, at 85, when crack hit, uh, you know, it hit my family. So, you know, I just got to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm, I, this is not what I want. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to get up out of here. And, and uh, I ended up leaving, uh, lived with my grandmother for a little bit. 
But I had a, a aunt who was an alcoholic, so I hated that. So I just went out on my own. You know what I mean? This is after uh, going away to school, coming back, and just really trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. Mm -hmm. I knew I always wanted to entertain. I was a hip hop dancer. I started dancing in the clubs. When did you start uh, dancing? In the oh clubs? man, I, seventy Jesus nine Christ. eighty. Seventy yeah. nine eighty. I, I, I was dancing out in the parks like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I got to see everybody in the park, in the Bronx. I got to see Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel. I got to see the Furious Five. I got to see Rocksteady Crew. I got to and see- And that's in the Bronx. That's in the Bronx, yeah. man. That's That was the Mecca The birth of hip hop, me, yeah. The birth of Mecca. I got to see Africa Bambada, all of them up close, you know, personal. I mean, you know, you Disco Fever, you had the Latin Quarters, which came later, but that was the thing. I was like, yo, the hip hop really, hip hop, molded me because of hip hop everything spawned from hip hop mm -hmm. everything spawned I ended up dancing for Salt and Pepper and choreographing for you know different groups and being in all these videos and I was in one of the dopest crews ever the Mop Top my boy Stretch Peter Paul Khalif uh, Link um, uh, Ramir it, it was called it was motivated on performance uh, motivated on precision towards outstanding performance we all had our dreads and those are the brothers that, uh, you know, who did all the Mariah Carey, uh, Stretch, we Remember the Time with Fatima. Yeah. Um, like, it, we had a nice conglomerate, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So we would break off and and go choreograph and, and do different uh, things. But I just, this was always in me to do stand-up and, and, and comedy. And from when I was little, I saw Eddie Murphy's Delirious. And I was like, yo, that's what I'm going to do. My mom was like, okay, baby, if you say so. But that right there changed my life, seeing Delirious. So let's start changed dancing. Let's start yes. off with dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever, do you do you start off and say, I want to dance. Let me go to a school where they're teaching mm -hmm. dance. Or do you just immediately take it to the streets? Like it, it was streets. It was just being out there in the park. You know, cats got the cardboard out. And you just out. You getting out cardboard. there. Getting with the cardboard. Niggas don't remember the cardboard. They don't cardboard. remember cardboard. And if you was, if you had money, you had linoleum. <laughs> you had yeah. yeah. linoleum. Yeah. You had yeah. yeah. the linoleum. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so they still had linoleum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it started there. That's where it started, man. And and I and I did at one point. I went in the Lower East Side. It was a, it was a place called the Henry Street Settlement. And they had different dance classes, and I took modern jazz for a minute. Uh, but you know, fellas was laughing at me. Oh, you didn't take your modern jazz? But I'm glad I did because I learned the, all aspects. Yeah, of dance. certain techniques yeah. that would yeah, yeah, yeah. So that took you more into the pro yes, space. Yeah, all that yeah, stuff, yeah. man. But it started in in the streets, man. It started right there in in, in the schoolyards, in the parks. That's where it started for me to dancing. Who who was the? There's always a guy or a girl that you like that was like the person that you was like either stealing the moves from mm -hmm. or just copying or just watching to see? I think when I started, um, I tried to mimic a lot of the cats from the Rocksteady crew. Um, Gutiaki, Buck Four, Crazy Legs, Mr. Wiggles, all those guys. Uh, of course, they went on to do Beat Street, the famous Battle Cry yeah. uh, joint right there. Um, I mimicked those dudes like... You know, I was like, man, I learned how to do a head spin and learn how to do the windmill and and watching them. And then as I went on later, uh, my good brother who gave me the name Flex, um, my boy Buddha Stretch, uh, one of the dopest to ever do it. Um, I just copied a lot of what he did, man. He just had such, you know, versatility, you know what I mean? And 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 I was like, yeah, I need that in my repertoire. And I, I, that's how we clicked. And then the whole crew and we just all we mirrored each other, but we were still individuals. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So Stretch would probably be one of the 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 guys that I looked at it, it, at the in the, in the Mount Rushmore yeah. of of dancers. Are oh, you wow. doing comedy at the same time? Now I started comedy in '89. Now that came about because of my boy Khalif uh, Loose Leaf was a dancer as well. Um, I used to be able to uh, meet people, do impressions, and 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 you know just have cats laughing. Yeah. And he kept saying, "Yo, son, yo, you gotta get on stage and do that joint, son." I'm like, "Ah." He's like, "Nah, man." So then he dared me. I forget what the challenge was, but once he dared me, I was like, "All right, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." But he was the one that kind of pushed me. Uh, and my cousin Grapevine, uh, who's in the group Trends of Culture on Motown back in the day, they had a huge song called "Off and On." And uh, him, DJ Moel, they used to come 
down to the Uptown Comedy Club. I mean, I mean, in the beginning, nobody, you know, nobody was coming down there and they would come support me. They would come week after week after week. And I just felt like I couldn't do it if they weren't there. You okay. know what I mean? And I went to the Uptown Comedy Club and they have a New Jack segment. You have three minutes to do okay. your best. I went up, I did it. It was laughing. I was like, yo, this did you, is it. You freestyled it? Or I did, went, you, did I, you write I did, jokes? I did stuff that I would do in the house. Okay. You know, I had, you know, I used to do impersonations of uh, Edith Bunker. I had a Bullwinkle selling drugs and, you know, stupid stuff like that. Bullwinkle selling yes. drugs. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. <laughs> so I would, do the, I would do those, Jesse Jackson, all that stuff. And, and I would just be all over the place. But people loved it, and I got the response, and I was like, "Yo!" And it's a different kind of high. It's different, you mm -hmm. know, from dancing because I'm dancing for somebody else. Mm -hmm. But that I'm like, this is me. So then I was working with Salt and Pepper at the time. They would come support up to the Uptown Comedy Club. Oh, oh so yeah, we got, yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, 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 yeah. You pouring champagne early. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you bringing salt and pepper down to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salt pulled up, pepper. Yeah. You know, yeah. she had something to do, yeah, but she yeah, came through later. With them. You yeah. know, spin. That's <laughs> they, my they all, they all came up, man. They support. How do you? So let's go back. Okay. How do you get that? How do you get okay. the salt and pepper gig? Okay. We, you know, uh, yeah, we yeah. from the place. We we know what the fuck that is. So what happened was. um Spin, shout out to, to Didi, called my house, and I don't know how she got my number, but she called this is back with the rotary phone. My grandmother had the red rotary phone. So uh, she called me, said, Babe, no phone call. Somebody spin to spin to something, got on the phone. <laughs> said, Go, spin to spin to something. As I'm getting older, I yeah. realize that they purposely messed everybody up <laughs> because I like to do that now. I'll be doing the same thing. <laughs> I do it, but it ain't on purpose. <laughs> uh, uh, boy, Je uh, Jeffrey. Jefferson. Uh, everybody. Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gentlemen, I don't know. <laughs> so I get on the phone and she said, Hey, you know, we're um, we're looking for another dancer to kind of match Pepper's height or whatever. You know, are you available? You know, do you want to do it? We're about to go on tour. We're about to go do Arsenio, all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, let me check my calendar. I'm available. <laughs> yeah. And um, So what did you, what, but what had you been doing to that point to where they- I had making a name for yourself. I was making a name for myself. I oh, was doing you. videos and, you know, choreographing. I had done the Crystal Waters video. La da dee. Yeah. Da, da, da. Ah. Uh, me, Khalif, and that Peter Paul. We did That's that. my shit. That was my jam, We did dog. that. I did the I Got the Power joint with Chill Rob G. I got the power. Did that joint. I mean, I did uh, uh, Queen Latifah, Fly Girl, and I mean, what classics. you call it was a dancer in that video. He was in a group, Omar Epps. He probably, sorry, oh, I'm just. <laughs> but, no, no, people don't yes, know that Oh, he's yeah, talented in that yes, way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And can sing. Yes, yeah. he was in a group. Yeah. I don't know if it yeah. was Men of Vision or something, or something like sing, that. He can sing, he can rap. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. 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 Omar, so he, yeah. We, we were in that joint together, and Peter Paul, too. Um, so I just started making a name for myself, and I would end up choreographing and or if Stretch did something, I would assist him. Uh, he worked with this group called Seduction. You know, I worked with them and and I just kept building a name. So they just they called and I was like, yeah, I'm down. And the first trip was going to coming to LA and we did uh Arsenio and we did the Marshall Warfield show back when she had a, yeah, yeah. a, a talk show. And we did another show and just did the press circuit. They shot a little kind of docu video. This was like before people were doing that. And um I was just like, man, I was, I'm like, I can't believe I'm here. I'm in LA. And I was like, man, this is great. This is your first time leaving New York. This is my first time leaving well, not leaving New York, but coming to California. Okay. Gotcha. This gotcha. was my first time. Because I've been to North Carolina. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on ninety five, yeah. Yeah. And or go down to the family reunion, whatever. But this was my first time. I'm like, I'm in LA and I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. It was just blowing my mind, man. Mm -hmm. It was just happening like and I'm sitting there like, man, our senior hall show and and Salt and Pepper was so it was so amazing with including their dancers. You know, because most people you do a show, blah, 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 and then you gotta scurry off and then it's the artist. But when we finished, he would come stand out there on the floor and you know, they would introduce all of us, man. It it just I, I love them forever, man. Yeah. And they supported me. They they would come up to the comedy club and then they said, Hey, why don't you open up for us while we on tour? I was like, Ugh. so I would go out, do thirty minutes of comedy, go back, change, come out and dance. Well, you went from doing three yeah. at the comedy club yeah. to doing thirty. Thirty minutes. Yeah, because by that time I had built up. I had oh, built yeah. up my, my comedy. 
Um, and and I, as I, I was going to get them two checks, because then you was going to dance too. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was dancing, so I would do the stand yeah. up. No, actually, the street checks because I would do stand up, go back and change, and all the dances we were at roadies. We would grab their bags. Oh so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we was yeah. hustling. I was getting that bread. <laughs> yes, you know, for yes. that extra thirty dollars, I can yes, around. Yes, yes. Don't, don't, don't touch that. Don't touch that. We were, we were there, fake security, <laughs> everything, man, everything, but. Yeah, they used to come up and support, but so many people came up to the Uptown Comedy Club. Uptown Comedy Club was iconic. A Def Jam was spawned from the Uptown Comedy mm -hmm. Club. Gotcha. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, we we were the first really at that time to be on the map with, mm -hmm. with, with comedians coming up there. With Chris Rock was up where there. Everybody knew that's everybody where you had came to go. up there. Yeah. And then we had a television show we shot right out of Harlem called the Uptown Comedy Club. We had all the artists. Oh, it there. really was Def Jam. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Before yeah. That. Okay. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And they actually were in talks. I believe Russell and you know my, my ex managers at the time <clears throat> and the and the owners and the creators of that, Kevin and Andre Brown. You know about he wanted to bring them on and mm -hmm. create this thing with Def Jam. And I don't know what happened. They just ended up saying we're gonna stick with ours. And then they went on and did Def Jam. But if you look at Uptown Comedy Club, this it's the same setup. The comedians there, everybody surrounding, and it was just. It was the dopest energy. It, it, you know, Kevin and Andre, they mom sold they sold Buffalo Wings. Like <laughs> it was it was hood, but it was so dope, man. It was the dopest energy ever, man. I will never that that was one of the best times in my life because I learned, you know, they taught me a lot about stand up. So I would just do impressions. And I remember doing a show with this one comedian and he did the same impressions and I went after him and I was stuck. And I said, I'll never let that happen. So I learned how to write jokes. I learned how to talk about life experience and add that mm -hmm. into And if you want to throw a, uh, an impression in, cool. But mm -hmm. I just didn't want to make my whole act based on that. And I learned a lot at the Uptown Comedy Club. So I, I give them all the credit in the world. Uh, it was it was the Mecca. We had every, we had Paul Mooney, who was a writer, producer on the show. Uh, hearing his stories, man, like it was just amazing. Like everybody came up there. When you go back and pull up Uptown Comedy Club on YouTube, you'll see Wu-Tang Clan, Luke, you'll see Tony Terry, every spectrum of artists yeah. came and sang and we did comedy and that's where the battle came from, the Yo Mama jokes, the battle that they do on Wild and Out, Out spawned from that and Nick told me himself, he said, you, you know where that came from, right? Uptown Comedy Club was the first to bring Yo Mama jokes to television. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yes, yeah, so I was part of, part of history. Oh, that's great. I'll ask you a question. Yeah. Of something you said in there. Mm -hmm. About that, about that making that adjustment mm -hmm. as far as for comedians. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure most of y'all have a set. Mm -hmm. So how do you make that adjustment if somebody has similarities to mm -hmm. your set and they yeah. go on before yeah. you? Right? Because yeah. like even with DJs, it's like they the, they give an opening DJ yeah. songs you can't you play. You can't play. Right? Yeah. So is I'm sure there's not like an opening <laughs> thing of like, yo, you can't do <laughs> yeah. certain, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it it really is just don't take somebody's joke. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's the one rule. That's the one rule. I don't but, think everybody follows that, though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but, geez, so, what it is, so like, but the, within the circuit, though, mm -hmm. everybody knows everybody. Yeah. And everybody knows. Yeah. Like, because I was, when I was at, at the Laugh Factory, like, all the comedians would be there and other com comic is on stage. Mm -hmm. And somebody would say, do the lawnmower. Right, right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And they would just go into the lawnmower job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. guys know your stuff. Yeah, yeah, so there's yeah, a certain yeah. reverence. Yeah, for, yeah. there's people that, that you know, like <clears throat> that's such and such a joke, whatever. So just don't go you into that You just don't space. do that. Yeah. You can talk. It's not to say you can't talk about a lawnmower because the, the age old uh, uh, saying is there is not one original joke. All yeah. of them are variations of the yeah. same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but, you know, I okay, I'm doing... Of Jesse Jackson, this guy comes out. He does Jesse Jackson, but he's talking about something different. Is he stealing the material? No, Jesse Jackson is open, fair play. Yeah, you know, I just it just made me say, you know, I want to talk about something else, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with doing impressions, but I just said I want to, I want to really talk about something. And I broke up with this this girl at one time, and I just started talking about it on stage, and it clicked. I was like, this is it right here. Yeah, I said, this is it, truthful. This because you can't take my life. You know, that's my, you know, my life is my life. So you can't yeah, come up yeah. and talk about what I went through. Yeah. So that's how I made that, that transition and learned and learned how to put jokes together and learn how to just add on. Because 
it, 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 there's no rhyme or reason. You don't just sit down one day and go, okay, this is funny. It's little stuff. We could be having a conversation. Or we even having a conversation. I go, mm -hmm. oh, man, that's, that might be funny. Or yeah. boom, they take that, put that, boom. Or, you know, or I might be thinking of something and I just need a tag. Or And most comedians, when you go out, they, you know, cool dudes will be like, yo, man, you throw this on the end of it. And boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool. Like, yeah. and all my cats, and I, you know, I got to give love to, to my boy Chris Spencer, he was yeah, he, 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 he yeah. was Nicole's. one the guy who who said get your ass back on stage because I walked away from stand up once I got my TV show and did all that I walked away for probably twelve years because I got to L A and I and I lost the that New York had just the energy of I can go do three spots a night I could just go boom 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 and there you make money you know mm -hmm. it, it, comics in L A. You don't make money. It's it's really like oh, see, I didn't know that. No, they don't. You you, you really just yeah. being seen. Okay. You know what I mean, you get yeah. paid something, right? But until you become like a yeah, a draw draw, a draw, you draw. Be a real. Draw. But at that time, <clears throat> it with New York, everybody was doing. Everybody was doing. They were doing comedy out of BBQs. You know, they had the drug dealers joint out in Queens, Manhattan proper. <laughs> they was popping bottles and like it, it like you. I could go make five hundred here, fifteen hundred here. You know, fifteen hundred here in a night. Yeah, and I do that five days a week, or then on the weekend. You got a bag. I'm, I'm, I'm eating. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. making bread doing that, so I came here and only known there. It, 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 it that no, at that time, yeah, I had no, I had done Showtime at the Apollo. Oh, you done the Apollo? By yeah, then. I done okay. the Apollo, so I was starting to 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 bubble, and this was before my first TV show, Where I Live, with my boy Dougie Doug. Um, it I was remember before, Dougie Doug. Yeah, yeah, it was before that show, so. I was building my name, and then once I got that show, it built more, and I was still doing it. But then, once I got to, you know, doing my own show, I just I was like, ah, I'm gonna go out here and, and and chase that money when I'm making this, like, and it's a grind, it's a grind, and I just didn't play it right. I remember I told D DL that man, I said, I said DL yeah, man, I was like, man, I just I didn't want to leave and then come back and my child has grown and I've been gone all of me and he was like shit them kids will get over here by the ass of car <laughs> <laughs> DL that's a hard working dude man I love that dude yeah. man hey, the, 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 the sacrifice <laughs> that Yo, being sac great yes, is yes and I didn't a at the time I didn't you know get it you know and, and I sacrificed those years in a sense I missed an audience that couldn't ride with me Mm -hmm. And then once I did the show, it was just like, okay, that's what he's doing now. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and brothers like DL and Sid, all of them, uh, uh, they've all just stayed at course. Dave Chappelle, like I used to hang with Dave back in the day. He used to be at Boston Comedy Club and 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 the Comedy Cellar and and would go to spot to spot. And I mean, just one two in the morning. I remember doing spots to be at the Comedy Cellar performing with Ray Romano at like twelve midnight. It's 14 people in the audience, you know? This is before he had a show. So he's working grind. on his material, you know? And next thing you know, boom, this dude's got a show. It's 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 crazy. But you, you, I think I felt more in love with, you know, when I was doing my show, just the freedom that I had um, and the money that I was making as opposed to I got to go out here and grind it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a, def a different comfort level that you can definitely fall yeah. in love with. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, and I'm cool, man. I mean, let me look at my account. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I ain't got to go out and do seven shows for, you know what I'm saying, which was still, when I look at it, it's so, I would say it's stupid. It's just like, you know, it's perspective. Or, you know? or, or it's just a thing where, like, I remember at the beginning of my career in, out in the music side of it, like, I didn't know exactly what you should do mm -hmm. when you have a hit record that you wrote and produced a hundred percent of. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't know what that meant. Mm, yeah. Like yeah. I thought, so all the alcohol is free. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your first thought. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Mama, we, we did, did it. it. <laughs> Give me bottles away. You you mean I can keep my shirt off? What? <laughs> All the time? Bro. No one was no one told me, okay, so this is what you can do right. now. Yeah. Now you are now you can go 
write and produce for these people. Mm. But not only that, you can start a publishing company because mm. people, songwriters and producers now yes. kind of want to be you yes. and be under you. Now you can get a an, a, a stall of writers yes. and producers yeah. who now you don't yeah. have to do all the work. And, right. and now since and you're an artist and you can you know talent, so why don't mm -hmm. you just start a label? And you, when, yeah. if, nobody told me this. Nobody, yeah, I know. So it's like a thing where like I, was, I got to this comfortable space where now I'm getting some money. Yeah. I'm getting these these, yeah. these performance yeah. checks. Like, yeah. What else do I need to do? Exactly. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm exactly. not getting ready. I think some people look at it as you lose sight other than you didn't have the the foresight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. people be like, oh, well, you know, you didn't keep the main thing the main thing. Well, sometimes you don't know what the main thing actually right. is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, or yeah. what comes along with yeah. the main thing being yeah. successful yeah. yeah, and all the ancillary yeah. things around it right. that you can now build your yep. company and your empire right. or whatever you're trying to build out I had yeah. no idea because at right. that time we weren't thinking about uh, uh, reiterating what you said like we, now everybody's like no my brand you know I'm building right. my yeah. well yeah. think about that we didn't have the information when you said brand you it was like so what kind of chips you want <laughs> exactly you want, <laughs> exactly. want Frito-Lay brand yeah or you want exactly that? we was just because working. we didn't have the brands yes Yes. Everyone else had brands. Yes. And we just, you know, we're, yeah. we're consumers of yes. their brands. And help build them. Yeah. So what was, in your opinion, what's your big break? Oh, man. I mean, uh, well, show, uh, Uptown Comedy Club. Okay. Definitely. Because Uptown Comedy Club and Showtime at the Apollo were the things that really introduced me to the world in, in a way that it said, okay, he's his individual. I'm not this dancer anymore. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, this this is flex, you know. And and even still in my mind, it being on TV, I still was only thinking about New York. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even still, I was just like, yeah, yeah. man, you know, I, I just, that's why I didn't, you know, when I started traveling, I started seeing like, oh, people watch the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? It trips you out. And, and it still trips me out. I've never been one to get fly and be like, yeah, yeah, that's me. I've always been grateful Always still surprised yeah. when people mm -hmm. remember stuff. Yeah. And I'm thankful because if not that, I could not have a career. So that for me was the, was the big breaks. Uptown Comedy Club, Showtime at the Apollo, and then doing Def Jam. I did Def Jam when Martin was there. And then I think when Ricky Harris, God rest his soul. Yeah. Um, um, when he, legend when he, Ricky Harris. And it's funny. Ricky Harris and, and I, we had this thing, man. You know, Ricky used to have something with everybody. And, uh, and it's crazy. They were shooting um, this documentary on on comedians or Def Jam or something and he and I got to see each other mm -hmm. it's, pro it's probably a few months before he passed and we got to see each other man and we just laughed and I said man brother I love you man he, like, I love you. he said man we, we was young and da 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 and I'm so glad that we got to have a conversation yeah. because I was so mad at his ass because <laughs> he went out and did when he, before he introduced me he on purpose did one of my cl my closing joke that was the killer. Oh. He he did it before I came out. And then he's like, yo, give it up for Flex. And he came back, he was like, yeah, knock it out. I was like, this mother. What's up, y'all? You know, <laughs> it was that quick I had to adjust. Yeah. Did yeah. you know why he did it, though? I did, because he, he, was just Ricky didn't care. he didn't care at that time. Ricky, Ricky was fucking with a lot of people back then okay. and and it was it was young it was the 90s people did had egos it, it was, was gangster rap yeah <laughs> right. was, and he was and, and that, he was it yeah. was all the gangster yes. rap and that right. was right in the height of you know ta -da and, and yeah. all of that stuff man but i'm glad we we, we got to talk and, and you know we straightened all that out and was just man was a good brother you know and you you, you sit back and you just like man you see how you matured and, and yeah. you know what i mean and, but but those shows uh yeah, Uptown Comedy Club, because that's really was weekly, and that's when I was like, man, I started making money. I was like, whoa! And then I did Showtime at the Apollo three times. I got introduced by Sinbad, Malcolm Jamal Warner, and Eartha Kitt. Oh, okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Eartha Kitt was like, he's one of the rising TV stars from Harlem. Give it up for Flex. I was like, man, that's Eartha Kitt. <laughs> that was Eartha Kitt, <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was my God. Yes, it is. My God. God. <laughs> it's a lot of little Lady Eloise out here. They out here. Hey, 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 hey,
trying to pay that rent right now. What? This is, this is. What? Yeah, how, some... how dark in the room? Yeah. Hey, hey what, what, they, what they say, all right? Come on back in here and get some of this black bear. Yeah. What? Yes. What? Yes. No. Why is yes. it gooey? Why is she saying, Mama's not done yet? Mama's not done yet. using a sweat. He's using a sweat. He said, oh. he said God damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the fuck. Oh my god! Were you man. were you were you purposely trying to get out of dancing once the comedy thing started yeah. started taking off? Okay. Yeah, once the comedy okay. started just take, taking off, and I remember uh, uh, Cheryl Salt calling me and was just like, you know, I was telling him, oh, I got this, and she was like, look, she said, Flex, just go do your thing. She's like, this now it's time for you. It's time for you to soar and and you know you're not dancing no more you know what i mean because i was still trying to hold on because i loved it that much yeah yeah you know and, so you, like you said you never got fly with nobody I never got fly I just yeah y'all don't do that it. no more yeah no, no i don't do that no more yeah. i was still trying i was getting gigs and i was still trying to go and you know what i mean and 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 the people started recognizing me and, yeah and uh and i still try to hold on and i remember um i was up for the movie juice uh, it came down to myself and Omar. It was between mm. they, the we, we auditioned for like a week, and and um, that's why I met Tretch there, Pac, all of them. So they were mixing, matching actors. Yeah. So it was another friend of mine who read for the role of Steel, uh, the, the young kid in there. Mm -hmm. It was they was fighting at his house. Uh, it was Khalil Kane. It was it was a bunch of us, man, and. So we all read, and I remember meeting Pac, and and I remember in the audition, I was where I knew he was different, and I knew I was inexperienced. I'm in the room, and Jackie Brown Carmen uh, was the casting director, uh, Gerard Brown, Ernest Dickerson, uh, directing Ernest Dickerson. So I'm in there, we're doing the scene, the locker scene, where he closed, and he was like, where you been, Q? And then he sees him, and he, you know, and he's telling him, I'm crazy, I don't give a... And we're doing a scene, and before he walk in the movie, he walks off, flips his hood up. But he's doing a scene with me. He was behind me. He was like, "Wait, well, yeah, I don't whatever. Yeah, I am crazy." It's like pot nothing. He smacked me on the ass and walked off in the scene. And I'm I start joking because we were out in the hallway joking and laughing. But he was locked in. Yeah, I wasn't locked in. And I was just like, I look back at that and go like, man. And Omar, you know, he went uh, uh, went to. Um, what they, what's a performing art school? Uh, not Juilliard, but it was one of the performing art school. Him and Marlon mm -hmm. uh, and all of them went to. Um, Omar was again. He was focused. He was. He, you know, there was already that. That's where I saw. Okay, my inexperience and where I need to lock in to go to another mm -hmm. place. And they took us all to dinner. It was like you know the Last Supper to see who was gonna make it. And then uh, I didn't get the call, and and, and I, would, I get the call. So I was I didn't get it. And I remember I called Cheryl. I was like, I didn't get the movie. And I, I was so crushed. And this is your first audition for anything. And for anything, they saw me at the oh, Uptown wow. Comedy Club. They said, Hey, we're doing this little movie called Juice, man. We'd like to have you come in. And that's how that's how it started. And um, I remember them calling me. You know, it was like a week or so later, the director go, Hey, man. Man, we, we love you, man. Sorry it didn't work out, but we just want, you know, we want to fit you in there somewhere. I was yeah. like, bet. And it became the, the classic scene. scene. With the me, classic yes, scene. With me and Latifah. And Latifah was like, she, I knew a lot already uh -huh. from comedy and all. And she's like, you know, don't make me look stupid. I was like, nah, I got you. I said, like, can we going to say this right here? We're going to boom, boom, boom. Just so she has the upper hand. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then, uh, and we, 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 we uh, delivered. Oh, so y'all created that scene? Yeah, yeah. We came out because we didn't know what the scene was created as far as the DJ audition and mm -hmm. you know the bad DJ come out, we didn't know what we were gonna say. Okay, but she knew I was a comedian, and she didn't want me like really going in. Right, you know what I mean. So we kind of talked, but I'm gonna say this, and then and it just and that was it. It lived, and I I look at it now and I see my inexperience because when I'm when I turn around, I'm like I'm like fuck you. She like, you might have a chance. That shit wasn't so small. <laughs> And then I turned with my back to the camera. That's my inexperience. Yeah. I turned and walked out. Man, they turned the other way so they yeah. can see your face. But uh, it became an iconic scene. That little bit, man. And, no, it's and, viral. Oh yeah, it's, it's always viral. It, yeah. when, whenever they're connecting it to somebody being whack yes. or somebody, it, you <laughs> yeah. will always see Look, that. Fifty scene. just posted it. Fifty posted it like uh, two weeks ago. 
because uh, I guess whatever when he did the thing in in um, Shreveport, Shreveport, about somebody's music, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, uh, about to do who did Bebe Bebe, hey mm -hmm. Bebe. Yeah. I guess they had a little thing going back and forth, but. He he threw that up there and it just relived again. Yeah, that, that, like, there's got to be some residuals attached to that. I when, wish. To your scene? That, when, you, when you go I re, wish. When, it, when it just resurfaces and I starts wish. circulating. It's, it's, it's street residual. We got to. <laughs> I it, wish. It, it, it keep you in the hearts yeah, and yeah, minds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Hearts and the minds. Street hearts residuals. I like that I like because that. that is very valuable. For sure. That's bad because people still talk about that. And it, it talk about like I started it. And I'm like, man, I just had that little part. But I'll forever be grateful for that. And grateful for the connections and, you know, meeting Pac, knowing Pac and just being cool with him. And, you know, every time I saw him, it was just always love, man. And I, I, that right there, I always, I always cherish that. Yeah, man, always. That's super yeah, dope. Man. Okay, so move to LA, man. What you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Move yeah, to yeah. LA, baby. Yeah, yeah. Come on, palm yeah, trees yeah. And, and bikinis, man. What's man, the palm I, trees and bikinis? And bikinis. That was on the yeah. pamphlet when I came. Man, yeah. man, you said lot. that was on the pamphlet. Yeah, that was on the pamphlet. <laughs> Isn't it? You should be here. The crazy thing. <laughs> the crazy thing for me is, you know, when you came out there to work, girls knew what you were working on. Like, no, <laughs> it was crazy. Not. I was like, what? Oh, when you came out? Yeah, when I came oh, out. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. they knew what you. Oh, you shooting? Tell? I'm like, how you? you they did what? Yeah, he was, you know? a, he was, you know, he was on the film and television side. Yeah, it looked a, different. And, and, and it was ninety one. Yeah, it was ninety one. Oh, came out here ninety one. Oh. We shot. We we uh, shot where I live ninety two, and it aired in ninety three. How did you get the show? So my uh, the Brown brothers were managing Dougie Doug, and your managers as yes, well. Yes, my my ex managers. Yeah, they they were managing. So we were all under that umbrella. I mean, they had everybody. Tracy Morgan. You know, I saw Tracy Morgan walk in the door. JB Smooth, like they, they had Smooth. everybody, man. That's my dude. So uh, they were doing a showcase and they did it purposely. They did a showcase at City College so that the producers could see everybody and hopefully, you know, they'll like somebody. Um, so I go up, do my thing. I know Doug finishes, closes out, whatever. And then they say, hey, man, they like you. They want you to read for it. Like, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready now. Audition in New York and uh, they like me. And then I do it again. They're like, okay, we want to fly him to LA. I'm like, okay, cool. I come out here. I'm staying at the the Universal Hilton. And yeah, I'm just yeah. like, oh man, it's I'm like, I got per diem. Good place like, to yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, done yeah. it. So, I'm done. I'm so here. I'm there. And then um I was only supposed to be there for a couple of days. Like I'm seeing all these dudes in the audition that I watched on the Cosby show and and you know, established dudes. But I had that New York, I was like, I don't care. Nigga, whatever. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I watched y'all while I was sitting in the Bronx. I was like, but I'm going in to get this joint. So I had no fear. And that's the thing. It's the great thing about New York and the flip side of the 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 downside to LA, the sunshine can put you to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and I kind of lost that, you know, mm -hmm. that hunger. But at that point, I was hungry. I was in there like doing doing my scenes. I'm over there like, oh, and the more they laughed, I'm like, ah. <laughs> and, and it was, it, you know, so I was like, I know I put it down. So my former agent, uh, he had the same uh, agent as uh, uh, Robin Harris, God rest his soul. Uh, they set up general meetings for me. So I, get, I go to CBS for a general meeting. So this is a few days later. I go and I'm sitting there waiting to meet the executive. And then the receptionist answers the call. I say, oh, he's right here. Gets on the phone. His name is Bill Gross. He said, hey, Flex, how you doing? I said, I'm good, man. He said, no, you, you, you're still waiting, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, yeah. He said, man, just unfortunately, you can't take that meeting. you know. And I was like, why? He's like, because you got the show on ABC. I was like, what? What? Gave her the phone. And I was like, yeah, I got to leave. I got to leave because you know I got things. Oh, you know, I, I was like, I got a TV show. <laughs> and I can remember the feeling I had. You know, They had to call me a cab back then. It was Valley Cab. There was a red and white company. I had to take a cab all the way from CBS, all the way back to, to uh, Universal. Universal. And I remember that feeling like, yo, I'm going to be on TV on Channel 7. And thinking of all the shows I've watched on Channel 7 growing up. Yeah. You know what I mean? From yeah. Happy Days, you know, uh, Fantasy Eye, all that stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to be a part of that. And I was, just, I, I called my mother, my grandmother, and I was just... I, that feeling right there, I'll never forget that joint. It was, it was, it was crazy. It was like the first time I dunked. Like, yo, and we, uh, we, I had to move out here, and 
you know, got a place and we started shooting and understanding camera, position, all that. Worked with a, a, a great producer and um, Michael Jacobs who did Dinosaurs and Boy Meets World, Don Tarnowski and, and uh, brother Eric Van Lowe. And I learned so much. I learned, I learned. And my boy, Sean Baker, you know, my other co-star, man, um, we, we had, so, and the boy, Jason Bo Smith, who was the little bad kid in Friday on the bike. Yeah, and they kept oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept kicking yeah. off a trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Janaka Doyle, like we had, and Sullivan Walker, was an amazing actor, and Lorraine Toussaint, who's an amazing actor, is still killing it. And I just remember like, yo, man, I'm in, I'm in Hollywood, man, I'm doing TV, like, and then, Going to the Century Club, going to yeah. Bar One, Carlos and Charlie's, just being introduced. Oh, oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they was moving you around. Being introduced <laughs> to L.A. Like, yo, man, this is crazy. I'm like, I ain't ever going back. And, then, <laughs> and how long did that show last? Uh, it unfortunately only lasted 13 episodes. Something happened uh, where I, I won't go into that with um, between the you know start of the show and in the network mm -hmm. and um, it, it just, it, it didn't go anymore. Um, but then I, in 94, after the Northridge earthquake, you know, we have one working and Northridge earthquake hit. I was like, I'm going back to New York. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't built for this. I come back to New York and I get back on my stand up grind. I'm boom, boom, 94, 95, 96, boom. Then I get a call. Hey man, you know, this is new network, UPN. You know, they 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 have a show. They they want to offer you a holding deal. Okay. Now, this was back when you can cake up getting holding deals. I yeah. had had one at Disney for you know a few hundred thousand, and held me for a year and a half. Didn't do nothing. They just paid me. And then this came up, so they sent me a bunch of scripts. They said, "Oh, this script right here, they're really high on, and they're gonna probably do this." Called Homeboys and Out of Space. So mm -hmm. I looked at the now I was like, homeboy's not his face. Well, <laughs> then I find out it's the EP who was working on Where I Live, the show that I had just done. Mm -hmm. So he hit me up. He's like, Flex, my man, Flex. Like, hey, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And I said, yeah, man, but do y'all have to say it, homeboys? I said, that's so old school. He's like, no, man, the people are going to love it. And I'm like, all right, cool. So um, I go out and we shoot the pilot. And Mel Jackson was the original cast member. Mel Jackson was from um, Soul Food. He was Lemuel yeah. from mm -hmm. Soul Food. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mel. Yeah. And uh, uh, we shot the pilot with him. Um, and then and Rona Bennett, for this, who's in, in Vogue, Rona Bennett, singing sister, she was in it. Uh, so shot the pilot. So we waiting. It's like, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's picked up. And then I get a call from a number I don't recognize. I'm like, who's it? Boy, Daryl Bell. Yo, what's up, man? Daryl Bell from a different world. Say, man, I'm excited. We're going to be doing this. And I was like, huh? What? You, what? And they replaced Mel and brought in, in Daryl Bell. And then we went on to shoot the show. And we had fun. I mean, it's that point, I think I was making what 35,000 episodes at that time mm. that oh, yeah, was yeah. that yeah. was oh yeah. that's different that yeah. different what was you driving what was me, you, uh, I think I had the what did I have the S the S600 V12 wow. yeah black boxed yeah. Oh my God! I had the twenty car, twenty two Carlsons on there. Oh, you exactly. I was, I was so ignorant. I had the presidential with the diamond belt. I was, it was really ignorant. He was flexing. He was flexing. Yeah, it was really, really, was really, was really yeah. ignorant. You know what I mean? He was living up to your name, brother. Oh my God! It was so ignorant, but um, Ooh, I enjoyed 600. it. Yeah, the six hundred. I enjoyed it, man. I had so much fun. So we shot um, Homeboys. Did twenty two episodes. Of course, the people hated it. The critics loved it. Um, Spike Lee was like, oh, it's the Amos and Andy of the 90s. I'm like, come on, Spike. I'm like, how long have I known you and you yeah. never hired me? Like, come on. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it ended after 22. And then it went that dark period. Mm -hmm. It was like, what's next? Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I was, I was frustrated. I was like- Are you still in LA? I'm still in LA. I'm okay. living in this, 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 this spot. Uh, La Stancia over, yeah. over yes, no, <laughs> living, right yeah. There, living right there, yeah. Yeah, it's living right there, yeah. and um, trying to figure it out, man. And and I remember, you know, moving in, um, 
me and my cousin moving in, off comes the elevator, Shanice. And I'm like, Shanice, I'm like, yo, you live here? She's like, yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm moving in. Oh. And I knew who she was. I didn't know her, but of course I knew um, she was going to see Lauren Hill. And uh, she was like, I'm waiting for she my cousin. She was going to see Lauren Hill. She was going to see Lauren Hill that night. And That's she correct. was like, I'm yeah. waiting for my cousin. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what she's taking long. And I was like, well, you know, give me a number and keep in touch. And it wasn't even on like that type of thing. And she was like, all right, I'll be back. She let, went upstairs, took like 30 minutes. I was like, I'm out. And then, you know, I see her two weeks later. I said, all right, now you didn't give me a number four. She gave me a number. We just started talking. And I remember sharing with her. I was like, yo, I'm out of here. Like, I'm tired. I'm like trying and trying and, and she said you gotta do your own thing you gotta create something for yourself she said you're too talented what are you gonna go back to new york for blah, blah, blah. she really pumped me up and mm-hmm. i was like she, she, do you have any ideas i said yeah i got an idea about a single dad you know it was a buddy of mine from harlem who's a single dad and and you know just watching his life she was like there you go and then that spawned you know the idea of yeah. just like man okay yeah this this is something that you know, I should get out and pitch, you know, and then um, this is where you start to learn all of the ins and outs about about pitching and, and all that stuff. So I had a friend originally uh, from the idea, write a script, you know, paid him for the script. Um, they turned it down, but the IP is still mine. Of course. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, okay, I want to keep going and I want to try to pitch this again. Got another deal. Got a... Um, a pilot, a script deal from ABC and Disney and I got another writer. They turned that down. So again, I'm like, well, hey, I, I still want to go out with this, but I want to take it back to how I originally envisioned it because you get writers and they add, they their, start, vision, yeah. they add their visions too, which is, which is fine. Um, so I said, I want to, I want to get back out with it. So my agent was like, all right, cool. Let's, let's, let's go back out. So we go back out, my agent and my manager at the time, we go out, pitch it, I pitch it to Greenblatt, John Lowry, uh, Bob Greenblatt, who was head of NBC for a while, David, John Lowry, just done so much stuff. Um, went in, they had a deal at Fox, uh, and another executive named Keith Cox, they had a, a deal at Fox. So pitched it like on a Tuesday, that Friday they call. It's like, we want to do it. We love it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is dope. And this is in, 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 a, in a time frame mm-hmm. from the idea to mm-hmm. now actually doing a deal for yeah. it, how much time is that? It was probably about, I say, really, a year, year, year and a half, maybe. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty quick. It was, it was yeah. pretty yeah. quick. It moved yeah. pretty quick. Because uh, it was right around after I, I met Wifey and she told me that. And I was just like, man. Yeah, because I met her. My brother passed in 97. And then my gra- it was after my grandmother passed in 99. And, and yeah, so um, it, it moved pretty quick. So they said they want to do it. We're like, all right, cool. So I obviously put the deal together. Got to find writers, you know, looking for writers. I met with like five, six writers. Met with the sister, Yunetta Boone. God rest her soul. Um, we'll go over to her house, me and wifey, and I'm telling her the story. Like, hey, this boom, boom, boom. This is dead. This is this. All right, write it down. Um, and then uh, we go to shoot the pilot. Um, so I'm doing all the deal stuff and 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 I, my created by credit, I'm like, all right, cool, boom, 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 fill all that out. Okay, so now it's thrown to the side. So now we shoot and then we get to, I forgot what point it was. Oh, it was, we shot the pilot and then we didn't get picked up. Hmm. We were, it was, uh, me and wifey were driving and I got the call they were like, yeah, they're not gonna pick it up. And man, we pulled over, dude, we start crying because we had just got married. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and we put on Mary. Mary was like, I just can't give up now. <laughs> I come to find. <laughs> we sit on the side of Vina, like, oh. On the side of Vina. <laughs> we, we crying, man. We so need you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm figuring, I'm like, what am I going to do? So then, you, you know, it just, you, you know, you go through that, those emotions. So then cut to a year has passed. It's our first year anniversary. We're driving back from Santa Barbara. I get a call from my, my ex-manager, David. He's like, hey, hey, Flex, how you doing, man? I'm like, I'm good, man. He said, hey, um, so, uh, yeah, would you want to still want to do your show? And I'm like, 
What are you talking about? I was like, yeah, Paramount's picking it up and they want to do it. I'm like, what? Just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Blue. I'm like, what? I'm like, how? So, so explain how something like that happens. I still don't know. Okay. Because yeah. I've yeah. never... You never pitched it to him. I've been, uh, but I've never been a part of a show or shot a pilot where it didn't get picked up and it get picked up later. Somewhere. Or, or was it in the same place? No. It was, so this it, is it a, was a whole different, different network, whole everything. different studio, everything. Exactly. Same network. And same I'm, network, I'm, different I'm, studio. Yeah, different studio. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what happened. So there was the head of the network at the time. Um, uh, what was his name? Uh, it'll come back to me. But but the head of the network at the time, he called me himself. And he was he said, I probably said, hey, man, because he used to be over at uh, Dean Litback was his name. He used to be over at UPN when I was on Homeboys. Mm. He, he was at Disney. So he's seen me grow. He's known me. And he's just like, man, this, this kid is great. Blah, blah, blah. He called me and said, hey, man, I'm so sorry. We should have we picked you up, you know, the, the first time. They had picked up a show called The Secret Files of Desmond Pfeiffer. It was the show with Sean McBride where he was, he was, it was the slave of Lincoln. And that was the TV show that they made. And they had picked that up. And he was just like, he's like, yeah, well, you know, we shouldn't have done that. He's like, but he said, don't worry about it. You know, we got you, you covered, boom. And I was like, oh, bet. So, so now we're going to shoot. So then here comes the subject about the created by. So the guild recognizes who put pen to paper or a finger to keyboard. Mm -hmm. It ain't about who said, hey, I, who came up with idea. The idea. I created it. When I see people, young writers or people, huh. they send something or they put something up like, yeah, created by means nothing. Until you go through the WGA, register it, you do that, and then you you register through, um, is it the Library of Congress? Uh, one of those other ones out of these, you register it there, not Library of Congress, but it's another form that you can uh, copyright it. That is when it's copyrighted. And even then, if a writer comes in, they're going to add their sauce to it. Mm -hmm. So together or separately, you can agree to say, okay, you brought this in. We've created it together. Or listen, I've created this. Okay, you wrote this off of my creation and it's going to stay my creation. I didn't know any of that. And then my attorney at the time was like, yeah, you didn't have it registered. I was like, I didn't know I had to. I had no idea. Yeah, it's your first I just time had an idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that that's a difference of, you know, a couple of mil. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on that back end. You know, but Paramount tried to make it right and as far as reflecting in points, but it was never going to be what a creator gets. And a creator that just it's it it follows you, you know. It, it, you you know, it can help other other jobs, other shows. So it was a hurdle we had to get over. So if you had to you know? do it over again, would you have would you have written the the, the script, the pilot yourself? <laughs> Uh, at that time, I was not a writer. You weren't a writer. Got it. I, yeah. I would have registered. Or, or you would have. You I would, would have, have registered it, put it in the best form. Understood the ownership yes. better. Yeah. yeah. Be best form I could into a treatment, um, you know, one sheet or whatever. Because at least had I had that, they would have been like, oh, he already had that there. So this is a creation based off that. Yeah. Because back then you could still, you would get... Um, uh, created by based uh, created based on a concept based by. on a concept you know what I mean so they were still yeah. doing that but mm -hmm. they they've killed that credit um, I right. would have done that and I would have had a different conversation with the showrunner that I chose because I hired the showrunner I brought the showrunner and I said this is who I want you know yeah. what I mean I would have had a different conversation or I would have you know, because at the time it was like we already in motion wheels in motion and I could either be like you know man you know piss a bitch and I ain't doing none of this. Yeah, you don't want to stop the train from Stop the train from it. Yeah. You got a hundred something people, you know, depending on you to work. I'm just like, all right, man, let's just let's just do it. And but you know, that was the only kind of thing that stung. Um, but we, you know, went on to do great. And at the end of the day, you know, we needed each other. You know, showrunner and myself, we, we needed each other. Um, you know, I found Kyla, I didn't discover her but i saw her on a commercial a nike commercial and they were playing the little rascals music she would act like the cute little girl and say oh you're lisa leslie oh i know that i'm such a big fan can i have your autograph and she goes sure little girl she's like well you need to rebound better and that's why i saw her i was like that's gotta be my daughter yeah. and we we reached out and sat down had a meeting we shot the pilot pilot kyla was 
think 12 or 13, man. And by the time we went to series, I think she was 15 by the time we shot the first first season. But um, yeah, I would. that's the only thing I would have done different. But, you know, I had a great time. It was one of the, you know, the best times in my life. How uh, many seasons did y'all do? We did six. Oh, yeah. Wow. We did 100 something 17 episodes so it went syndication in the whole thing yeah but it was really I, i'd say five and a half because you know they tried to, they wanted to go a different direction and do some different things and i was like well no i don't want to do that and so it was just a an impasse where okay i'll agree to come back and do this amount of shows and then you know and then y'all move on and and that's what we did because how does that go and how does that work mm -hmm. if it's something that i mean obviously you you, you gave us the breakdown of the whole created by mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I know about the, you told us about the money that may have right. been missed, or not even made up, that was missed out mm -hmm. by you not doing it that way. Mm -hmm. But did that ultimately give them the power to restructure your show? No, they've always had, the, I mean, listen, the studio has the power. You know, they give, they're giving the money. Mm -hmm. No matter what we like to think, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If you look at the history of anybody that tried to show out, and they say, okay, we, we can't, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. canceling yeah. the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So it's just about, I wouldn't say playing the game, but just knowing when to pick your battles and all that stuff. Um, but listen, they gave me, a, a, a afforded me a life that, you know, shoot, 10 years prior I didn't have. Right. So I'm grateful for that. You know what I mean? And, and you're going to have those bumps and you're going to have those bruises. and But all of those things are to, are to teach you you know, next go round that you know better. So now I know better. I'm like, yeah. I, I know before I even pitch anything, say anything, I'm I'm going right to Guild, here, boom, registering every which way I can, and then we're going to talk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it, it gets dicey and people get, people get funky. You can sit and down. And people forget. People forget. And people forget. You can sit and have a yeah. conversation. Oh, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then something happens, that all changes. Yeah, you need to talk to my lawyer now. It's like, oh, whoa, 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 we had an agreement. Yeah. It all changes. Friends or no friend. It is, it is, it is one of the one of the stickiest places to be uh um when you get into a situation like that, especially if it's friends or people that you 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 your your peers, you know, because it's, it's always about who did what. It's like, let's just do it together. Like myself, Chris, and Buddy, we have a project now. Like we did it together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and you know, I will always be like, hey, man, they're stronger than me in this area. I have a strength in this area. And we just put it together. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if people are putting time in it and helping you, that's 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 a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, I mean, I think you're, you're probably up financially in a good space when you guys come to this impasse and mm -hmm. they're like, well, we're going to do something different. Yeah, yeah. You're, you know, you're, you're doing pretty well for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And now you're saying, What's my next move again? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I um, so, you know, let me figure this out. Um, and you, you know, you take some gigs here and there. You know, I, I've, I chilled a little bit. You know, just was home and really just trying to, trying to, trying to figure it out. Um, then I, I get a call from my agent. It's like, hey man, um, uh, you're not gonna believe me. I'm like, well, what? It's like, uh, yeah. So, um, they're doing this Michael Jackson movie. <laughs> ah, shit! I've been waiting. You know I've been waiting. I said, let me go and just. You don't have to do this, Lex. If you don't want to, just go on and get it out. No, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I don't mind. Let's <laughs> just go on and get this out. Get this call. Please this tell us how this call went. This Michael Jackson movie, and I'm like, okay, cool. Who's in it? It's like they want to meet with you. I'm like, he said, who's in it? I'm like. <laughs> Like what? It's like yeah, they want to meet you over VH1, out, you know, at Santa Monica. I'm like, I'm like, okay, they want you to meet with the director, producer. I'm like, okay, cool, all right, I'll, I'll go take a meeting, go sit down. I don't see nobody else there. It's not like I'm not reading nothing. He's no like, audition. when Michael gonna walk in? Yo, I'm just like sitting there, and the director is like, he's very earthy, but like we want to do, you know, this is we're not trying to, you know, defame him. This is, you know, we love, we want to put energy and, blah, blah. and I was like, okay, cool. His energy was cool. All they, the disclaimers. He's yeah. All the disclaimers and, out. and they just asked me questions about him, how I felt. And I was like, man, come on. Love my ass. I met him once. Yeah. Super cool. I'm like, yeah, like boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Just had a conversation. I leave. I think about a week later, they call and they was like, yo, they want to make you an offer. 
I was like, come on, Off of man. that conversation, though. Just off of that conversation. Just oh, off of that. I'm like, I was like, come on, man. Are you kidding? Like, they know I'm 6'4", right? Like, I, I can't, like, how, they want to make an offer. And I'm like, then I find out. I'm like, who else were they talking to? This would have even been really funny. I, I think Hill Harper was on their radar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shout out, shout out to Hill. Let's shout go, Senator. Shout out. Let's go, Senator. Shout out to Hill. Um, <laughs> and he may not even know that, but they, I guess they were thinking about him too. He had hair at the time, but, right? Yes, yes. What? Yes. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, all right, well, whatever, you know, negotiate, whatever. They clearly think we all look alike. It, yeah, and they came back with the number, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I was I'll like, do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Would, would you mind telling us what that number was, brother? I know. Yeah, you can't tell us? I'll keep that locked. Yeah, it was a good But it was number. heavy. It was, it was enough for him to do it. <laughs> it was a great number. He overlooked everything. Yeah, it was a great How much number. would it cost for you to play Michael Jackson tape? Yeah. But but no but you but but you know what you gotta understand it wasn't now no this was it's not about now. before no, social media because I'm just looking at Tank right tank. looking at Tank yeah Cause. but I'm looking and I'm saying this is before social this is and when they pitch the story and they're sitting there telling me once oh, they, I agree they to do it they're like we're gonna they we, we have we we got the songs we're gonna be doing big performances we got the rights to the songs I'm like okay you feeling I'm like okay it wasn't just about what you could buy it wasn't about that at that point it's like you really can do something I'm like oh man we said we gotta he said I, mean, I had this performance you do a man in the mirror I was like oh okay I'm gonna kill this bet and it took you back to your dancer days and all of that stuff okay and, okay, the, fact, right, and, the, okay. and the love that I have for Michael you know what I mean I was just like oh bet boom so we go do it I should have known first day I walk in the makeup trailer. <laughs> And I see, I see the rubber nose sitting there, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not putting that on. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna make a caricature. Yes, you are. Yeah. So I didn't put the nose on, but then they came out with the dog on the airbrush, with the ashy airbrush powder, and they put it on. I was like, ah. I was like, y'all know I look ashy, right? Oh no, it'll be fine. Man. Like, all right. And then um, we start shooting, and we're shooting with the intent of delivering something really good, which. At the time, for the time, because get, guess this, check this out. It aired on VH1. Nobody had nothing negative to say. If this aired on VH1, they didn't ask me. They, it's aired, you were probably younger. You were probably. I still had an opinion. You, oh my! I listen, still had an opinion. listen. I'm tough, dude. Ah, it aired. People said, like, "Oh man, you did, did a great job." I mean, I even even I mean, sitting with Latoya and talking to her, and she she knew production value was crap, but she was just like. We appreciate you really, you know, trying to really channel. The one thing people did say is like, yo, you really, you know, channeled him. It just the the, the kindness and all that stuff. The makeup, because makeup was horrible. But no, that's no, no, what before, I tried to do. Before you go, before the, to the butt. Because yeah. butt, 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 butt. Yeah. that's my biggest issue. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That the was makeup. Bad. That was bad. It was bad. Was it chalk? It was some airbrush. It was in an airbrush. That's all I know. And every morning, they, I spent Because it was one scene. In. Well, you had on all all white, and you was matching your shirt. I know, man. I and know. I said, "Ain't no yeah. way." Yeah, it, it ain't no way. It looked like they took me and they rolled me in powdered donuts, <laughs> and just like and action. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, and he said <laughs> "What's the time right now? What's the date?" I said, oh. oh my I said, god my flex. oh my god listen man uh, did, I, did it, did I it, thought it, I was safe when I did it did at oh, any point <laughs> <laughs> during the shooting at any point did you look at yourself no. and say I'm tripping there was no point <laughs> there was no point was, except for the makeup I was like man they, they gotta do this better hey, but what? at no point did I think? Because again, this was before social media, so there was no opinions to base anything. I thought I was clear. <laughs> hey man, yeah. they gave this man so much money. Yeah. Listen, yeah. They, man, ain't no way you didn't walk by that mirror and go, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> I was just like, "Yo, man!" When, when, and then when people would hit me up, and, and initially I was like, initially I was getting offended. I was like, "Yo, yo, I got a family." I just been. But then I was like, you know what? Well, you was getting offended at first when it because when social media started, <laughs> yeah. and then when people would see it or it came on, oh, they would hit me. Yeah. Oh, they would hit me. I would get tagged. We ain't never gonna forgive you. <laughs> you're like, never should have never done that's, this. Never forget. That's the other name of the yeah, internet. Never, never forget. forget. That's, that's like, the other name. We should never. You, you flex it. Oh my god! And then I would be going back and and then I was like, man, 
I gotta learn to laugh at myself. And when I yeah. looked at you're it, a I was, comedian, I was, like, comedian, yeah, I was yeah. like, this was initially, but then yeah. I was like, so when people hit me, I'm like, man, you are right. I was asking, I don't know what I was thinking. And you know, some of my responses, uh, somebody said something about, uh, uh, I, I posted something and they were like, yeah, you need to post uh, a, a piece of that a terrible Michael Jackson movie there. I said, I'll post the check stuff. How about that? <laughs> you know, but then I was like, no, don't do that, don't do that. Um, but it, I just have fun with it now. It's, it's, for, it's always around his birthday. <laughs> and, uh, I know yearly when it's coming so I get ready and just sit there and just let me take it and now that they did the movie and that's coming out I know that they're going to play oh they did a movie yeah. they did yeah. it yes yeah. with Jafar with, with Jafar. Jermaine's with Jermaine's son, son. And I heard, uh, Antoine Fuqua directed it. It is an amazing, yeah. Yeah. Ama they, 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 that was, they did it right. Yeah. And the thing is, even in that, somebody's going to have a problem with it. Of course. For, for Still, sure. Of course. For sure. Still, of course. But for sure. it's not going to be what I did. <laughs> this is high level. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like, no, uh, our, our friendship uh -uh. is the reason why I've never posted it. Oh, man, listen. But now that I know you cool with it, I don't I'm care. about to go crazy. Yes, listen, you know how many people I know that have Posted that on tab. I mean, I, like, I get hit hit. As your friend, I just pretend like you didn't do it. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I've never uh, seen flex, flex, play flex would glass. never. <laughs> Not my flex. <laughs> Shit. Oh, but it's oh, so funny, man. But you know what? I'm like, I can say that's a it, great man. moment in your life. But you know, though, you know your love for life. music, your love for Michael, like you're like. How you want to turn that down? Like when you ask me, like to turn down Michael Jackson. I'm yeah. in my mind. I'm trying to think of all the things I would just need to do to get into that character, Dude. and I'm going to try and do them. Not Listen, you, I, you. Came I, home, you, I came home. I came home, and I I was still in character. We went to eat, me and the family, and I was like. Cause everything was shaved. I got to the house. I forgot the code to the <laughs> alarm. Like I really. Was because I just watched hours he was in, and yeah. hours. Yeah, and I, yeah, I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah, and it was <clears throat> I submerged in that joint, yo, and it was, <laughs> whew, yeah, it taught it taught me a lot, man. I was just like, yeah, I really gotta uh, vet this thing out a little, little, little better. But I mean, again, for my love of music, love of him, like I had, a, 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 and I know there was talks of, you know, Tyrese um, doing Teddy Pendergrass. I spoke to Teddy Pendergrass years ago about I was submitted about playing Teddy Pendergrass. Mm -hmm. um, this was years ago. Someone else had the rights at the time and I knew them and they called me and they put me on the phone with him and saw my picture. It was like, oh man, your picture's great, man. Da, 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 da. He said, yeah, we're gonna keep, you know, keep going. We're gonna figure this out. And, you know, obviously he, he passed, but, you know, I've tried to get the rights to Sam Cooke at one point, but the um, the guy who owned it, who swindled him out of his, his uh, rights to his music, owns the music and won't let anybody. That's why if you notice, the only person who ever had the original uh, uh, rendition of Change Gonna Come is Spike Lee in X. In X. Nobody else. And Ali was Al Green singing it. They did a, re a re remake. Yeah, remake of it. But he, they won't let that music go. I'm like, you can't do a Sam Cooke movie without, without the, the music. music. You, you have know. to have the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's some people I've I've tried and you know I just I don't know just they just Michael got me. <laughs> Was <laughs> and Michael got me. <laughs> but I love Michael, man. I love, love man. Was such such a he was, he was such an amazing spirit, man. Just yeah. God, just he would come in, introduce himself to everybody, know everybody's name. Just just an amazing, amazing, amazing person. What does that lead to after Michael Jackson? Uh, that uh, after that, God, it was. That's when the what do you call it hit, the um, 2008 financial collapse hit. I remember, you like know, it was just. I had a, I had a. We got property. We bought property in Vegas, and you know I'm stacking up. Like yeah, you know I want to pass this down. Bottom fell out. Everything crashed. Yeah, I should have let it go, but I'm pulling from savings, trying to keep it. Got to, I had a 12 unit little building and four. Uh, single family homes and everybody buy, like it was it was bad so i'm pulling money trying to keep it going because i want to pass this down and i should have let it go and that's what led to us you know doing the show on own um talking about that is your reality yeah, show. yeah talking about what we what we went through and because i didn't want to do reality and and so the only way i would do it is if we had something to talk about and you know, wifey, she loves reality. She just, oh, I want to do a reality show. I want to do a reality show. And then I said, listen, if we're going to do it, we got to tell a story because I don't want 
blogs and it's coming out telling our story. We are gonna tell, you know, how everything happened and and we did and and for the most part it was super positive. We had so many people who were thankful in this industry that mm -hmm. we both know. Yeah, that mm -hmm. came to me on the side. Yo, man, I was living in my car. Or yo, man, I I don't know yeah. how you spoke out, but I, thank you. And you know that gave me the confidence. And you know, and I'm just like, that's the reason. If anything, that was the reason to do it for those people. We had a couple that reached out and they told us that they told my wife um, that they lost everything, had kids, all that, and they were planning to commit suicide. And they were writing a letter and they were gonna leave the kids with her parents. They, they saw were? our show. The both were. Wow. They saw our show, and said, "Hey, we saw that you guys can make it." And they just they it, it didn't do it and turn and turn things around, and and thrive. And I w I wonder where that couple is now. I hope you know. I know they were still going. Yeah. But that that for me was was everything. Yeah. You know, and I, I that was everything. So going through that after Michael Jackson, after that the financial collapse, everything changed. The business changed. And then it just became, you know, doing a TV movie here or doing a reoccur here. And, you know, I would do Grey's Anatomy. I did, um, I, I did a bunch of stuff, man. I, I've done a whole bunch of stuff that people forget. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, right. and, and, and um, I was able to just continue, sustain, and then, you know, wifey started performing more again. And and we just kept going, man. We just we just kept going. And people think, oh, yeah, Michael Jackson, yeah, they, and they, yeah, you got blackballed. I'm like, no, I'm still working. <laughs> like, yeah, no, right. I'm a black ball for playing Michael Jackson. Like, really? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. it didn't make no sense. But um, that just, you know, I led into, I had another deal, created another show. It, it didn't happen, but I had a deal on the table. But I just kept going. I just kept going, kept going. That's all I know, I know how to do. Yeah. You know, even in the tough times, like right now, you know, so many people going through it and still trying to front. And I'm like, yo, everybody getting hit hard. Everyone. And this is the time where, you just have to shift and figure things out, do other things as well. I don't think there's anything wrong wrong with that. I've been, you know, heavy into studying government contracting and, you know, I'm looking at the percentages of millionaires that come out of there and I'm like, okay, all right, we're gonna learn that something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because as much as I love this, I know I can't sit and wait. And even if you reach out to people, those people are waiting. You know, right. they're not in a position to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about black, white, everything. I got a couple of white friends as producers. They got shows packaged with some names and they can't sell them. So that just tells you where we are. I'm like, what do they know? Why is everybody on hold right now? What do they know? I don't know if it's the election. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it's a weird time. And it's not saying that you can't get things done, but I just think it's, a, it's we're in a time now that you have to, really dig deep and 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 understand that you know just one way is not the way anymore like you said earlier you know for you know hit record writing it's like okay I'm a publishing company okay I'm get some artists let me do it. it's that same thing hey, you, you producing some bets. Mm -hmm. yes putting yeah, you know all these numbers all yeah, of that stuff yeah. you you have yeah. to you, it's almost like the, the three card mindset you got to be like boom 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 you have to and that's one thing i will never never stop doing you know cuz it's just it's it's just I don't know, man. I I love it. I, I fell in love with getting on stage again, back doing stand up, and I just I fell in love with it more this time. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. now I've lived life, and now you I have got, stuff to talk about. To, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I, yeah. the, the journey, it, you know, my wife and I went through our kids, what we went through, and you know, and and what she's come through, and 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 with this cancer thing, and and I mean, it's all that other shit don't mean nothing to me. So I, I don't people can. Oh, da, 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 you need this now, huh, nigga? It's like, okay, cool, it's funny, yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, man, I'm still here. You know, yeah. we still here, and that for me is everything. This is all I ever wanted to do. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I mean? This is what it's. I mean, I'm telling you, like, just this is all I ever wanted to do, man. I, I love it. Not for the other stuff, but just to when I get on stage, man. I'm telling my story. I got your attention. You know, you paid your money to come see me. I'm like, yo, man, it's like you doing a concert and they there and you taking your time on a song and they like, I'm taking your hands, that's it. You know, yeah. and you, you know yeah, yeah. it's the same feeling. Yeah. You know, I think when I was younger, it was different. When I was younger, I was like, yeah, get that bread. You know, people know me, you know, still humble. But I think now it's the love is kicked in because at 54, it's different. You're 54? 54. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Yes, I'll never proudly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you don't hoop no more. Every oh, time I, I see do. him, I do the same thing to him. I say, hey, bro, you know, no, you want to come hoop with us? No. He texted me a couple of times. I said, Jay, let me just let you know <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> it's not These happening. These ain't the legs. No, the no. <laughs> the last time I dunked, I was, what, 46? And then I, I was doing a celebrity game in Indianapolis. And next year I went. I went to go up. It was just gone. Just gone. I was like, you know what? I'm good. Everybody I know my age or in our age is popping Achilles. And I'm like, no, thank I you. I don't need that. Don't Nobody needs that. See, super legs over here. <laughs> he he did a, a meniscus yeah, I and tore, a... I, I tore my meniscus and my ACL. And ACL. And you still same, know that. Yeah. Didn't same, get surgery? Same leg. Didn't need surgery. Didn't, uh, didn't nah. do surgery. Just uh -huh. did all rehab. Yeah. And still going. Yeah. And st I love it. Nah, I love good. it. Talk I'm good. I stopped because of that. Yes. I said, and then oh, I came back. No, and he like, wait, wait, where, where you at today, Jay? I said, yeah, I'm at the run. I oh, said, I'm at no, the run. no, uh -uh. hell no, <laughs> no, why? No, I can't. Why? I can't, why? Why? I can't find any enjoyment out of anything else the same way. Really? I cannot. I cannot. Really? And they, they, listen, I made money a long time ago, so the whole golf thing and being yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you know, because once you start, you know, the golf is a hell no, it's hot. Oh no, yo. it's too early. <sighs> And I don't want, I don't got four hours. You would love it. I, no, I've you. been. Oh, really? I don't like it. Wow. I don't I like, like it. it. Now, I'll, I'll it. go out there and hang out if you, somebody does a, a, a invitational or a yeah, golf yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. go out there. I'll ride yeah. around. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, mean Pass I figure, me a drink. I figure right. out how to do the doors <laughs> open, man, with yeah. the little you know, golf yeah. cart. <laughs> but other than that, bro, like, I have found nothing. I love it. I love it. I grew up bowling. Play spades. I can uh -huh. do. I, I'm one. I'm one of them hood kids that can do everything. Okay. Now I the will, only thing I love is basketball. Now I, will I don't say love this, nothing. To I say. will say this. Admittedly and embarrassingly, you can't play spades. I can't play spades. How, how, how do? You, what do you mean? No way. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I can't. When they have uh, uh, Makai just <laughs> hit me up he, or poker. He hit me up with poker part. I couldn't go, but I was also embarrassed to say. Uh, yeah, I, I I can't play poker or, or spades. I, I just can you never, play dominoes. No, that's that that's that that's not a New York thing. We didn't come up playing dominoes. You play we, play C, we play C. Yeah, play play we play We play C. We play C. And I, I know I know how to play. I learned how to play blackjack. Now that I learned how to do that, so that's that's my extent. Sorry, guys. Shout out to Johnny Gill. Taught me how to play that guy. Oh, <laughs> so y'all yeah. gonna have to have a, a, a he, thing. He's he talking Bronx. He talking Harlem. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, I never. I no just spade. didn't. Man. We, gotta, we gotta call the people. Like from the dominoes. City, I'm, I'm rolling because that's okay. a very West Coast yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 You know, that's a known yeah. thing. Yeah. But space. Space. And people around me were playing when I was coming up. I just had no interest. They had, they had uh, space. They played stink tonk go fish. Uh, he didn't name Go Fish. You Cup. wildin'. You, got, you, you just get out of there. Steal my old man Bundu. <laughs> you know about that one? There's, there's an old school joint. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Steal my old man Steal my Bundu. Old man Bundu. You never heard of that joint? You can't flex on us. With oh that. my <laughs> God. That's, that old, that's, that's that. the old joint. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> I, I bet it oh, is. I forgot. Yeah, I'm older than y'all. I'm older than y'all. A little bit. A little, yeah, bit. little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, within your journey, bro, you know, um, you've, from a talent standpoint, mm -hmm. a gift standpoint, like you've accomplished some some really incredible things. Yeah, I feel um, But that piece where you and your wife um, share your share your life with the world, mm -hmm. yeah, that, in a positive like, way. That mm -hmm. is like that is the gold, man. Mm -hmm. And even when I just used to used to see y'all mm -hmm. two together, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like a, they it's both, a they both smiling. It's man, <laughs> hey, yeah, it's yeah. a different kind of energy. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, oh yeah, that's that's yeah. that's the Lord's work right there. Like it's like, it's like seeing two people that like, I don't know, like something else comes from that. Something yeah. more inspirational, mm -hmm. something deeper, yeah. just from y'all standing there together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm glad y'all were able to tell that story yeah, and, man. and yeah. you, um, I, I know for a fact you've saved more people 
then you realize just yeah. your example, man. And yeah. just those smiles. As soon as y'all walked in and she started smiling, I said, look at this, man. <laughs> She's always smiling. This is crazy. You, ma- you married the R&B, man. You yes. married the yes. yes. You are an R&B singer. Listen, I don't listen. care what nobody says. In my head. Yeah. No, in my I know head, you are. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. Listen, she yeah, you will are. tell you, mm-hmm. in my mind, yes. I, I'm singing, and the crazy thing is I'm singing all the time. She don't sing around the house. I'm the one playing yeah, the singing. music. I'm everything. Like, you're all, you, listen, you're all keys, music. Flex. You don't sing off key. Hey, she talk, she's like Ike Turner about that key. She yeah, Ike Turner about that key. <laughs> she's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, off my note. Off, off my note. Off my note. Off, off my, my note. note. <laughs> she'll purposely come in, she'll give me a note like, ah, and I'll go, ah. she be like, no, 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 no. Off my note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're I'm a melody guy. Yes. She got to let you live in the melody. Yes, you let me stay in that melody. I'm yeah. not a solo guy. You know, they got this thing called auto tune now, yeah, baby. Hey, you listen, know what I mean? Listen, you know what I mean? You can have a whole listen. another career. Hey, man. You've been pivoting you, this you whole ne- time. You never know. You yo. never know. I, I was in a group once. Oh, uh-huh, here one we go. Time. I, here I, you got, go. I got kicked out, but I was there for, for a minute. <laughs> it was an R&B group or was it a rap group? It was an R&B group <sighs> called Jatim. Who? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, before you, before you go ahead and start playing the piano, we need to know about Jatim. <laughs> Call was it like like ja, like 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 French for I love you, Jatem? Oh, okay, yeah. but it was okay. out of Harlem. I thought it was like French Timbaland boots no, or something. No, no, no. It was but my y'all bo- was rap. My boy, no, no. It was R&B. Oh, it was R&B. It was my boy, uh, Jatem. Ja, my boy, Michael Harrison. Shout out to Michael Harrison. Um, in Harlem, we was up in this apartment. I think that the lead singer was a Spanish dude named Jimmy, and it was another guy. And I so remember, nobody was French though. No, nobody okay, was French. Okay, okay. We, we was trying to do something different. Yeah. So we up in there. I mean, we uh, harmonizing and blah, 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 And I just, are just, you really harmonizing? I thought I was. Okay. <laughs> off, and, until off, I got to notice. Off Jimmy's <laughs> notes. <laughs> until, I, I got the, until I got to notice. Yeah. Uh, you, you might want to go ahead and do this dancing thing because you out. <laughs> Yeah, man. We're not gonna yeah. need your services. Yeah, anymore. we're not gonna. I, I, but I knew it though. I knew it. this was something I had come yeah. to terms with, and I knew this is not my calling. And look who got to play Michael Jackson. Look at that. <laughs> not none of them. <laughs> <laughs> not, and not none of them in Jaquan. Jatim. 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 Yeah. But so, shout out to my boy Michael. So Harris. the one MJ <laughs> is Jacqueline. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all would kick me out. Oh, uh, sure y'all was, kick me was, out. I'm gonna play Michael Jackson. I was in it for this, this long. This, I think I think I had two rehearsals and I was gone. <laughs> oh, we think. But that's how much I love music. Yeah. We just went to the Fool uh, Fool in Love uh, festival that they had out by SoFi. Mm-hmm. Gladys Knight. Oh OJ's, yeah, yeah, Diana yeah. Diana Ross, Lionel Richie. Santana. Golly. Uh, oh, yeah, I was uh, cracking. Um, the Whispers. I mean, like, I every, I loved it. It was, we we all went out. I didn't even know that was happening. Oh, man, man it was, yo, and it was a little unorganized as far as the getting in part, but I gave him A plus on putting together a lineup and the stages were like right across. So when one artist fin- was performing, artists was over here setting up. As yeah. soon as they finished, they was on and it just went like that. Yeah. It was... It was so dope. And seeing all of them perform, and seeing Eddie up there. Oh, still I mean, sweating. And Walter, still getting to it. Uh, and people won't give Walter enough credit. Now, Walter, Walter Cole. Walter Cole. Yeah, Walter Cole-blooded. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, and, and we left um, Lionel, uh, had started. He just started off, man, with I've been alone. He started off with hello. I was like, yo, how you gonna start with hello? Because he got that many hits. Because he has like, that many why hits. Why not? He got that many hits. Me, so speaking of hits, let's talk about Nile Rogers. He got oh, up there. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. did, I didn't know. Yeah. He did his catalog. He said, Y'all might know this one. Boom. I was like, like a virgin. I'm like, what? That was if you can get there next year. I what was had, that? It was at right outside of yeah. SoFi, in between oh, oh, SoFi yeah, and the yeah, Forum, yeah. right like, yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was amazing. That's what I love. That's how much I. I'm always playing music in my car. It's the R and B in wifey's car. She playing to drop it like it's hot. She might be playing <laughs> sexy red. She might be playing my booty hole brown. She might. <laughs> she might be. Playing. 
in there. She can, she can ride with Jay. You see Shanice and Travis. <laughs> she can Just ride with know. Jay. Just know. It's it going ain't what down. you think. It's yeah. not what you think. She's smiling. She's smiling. And she is dropping it. I mean, she's like at the yeah. party. She, oh, my God. She she is oh, that's great. straight up gangster rap. That's, that's how great. it is with that's us, great. though. We be needing a balance. We oh, do so definitely. much r and I would all, all, all the shenanigans. I, oh, I love it, man. I'm listening to all foolishness. I love it, man. I, I mean, going from shoot Boz Skaggs to, you know, Bobby Caldwell to oh yeah you tapped to the in BG yeah to you tapped everything man I just love all of it because so we about to find out now. oh okay no, we about, about to find, to find out, out now uh-oh, yeah uh-oh, as you as uh-oh. you saying all these names oh okay yeah okay. yeah mm-hmm. don't forget them once we get to no, it though hold on wait now wait now hold yeah on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I may not know go ahead go get first. your cheat code you need to get your phone come on chief. Oh, we, we're going to go there since you start naming names. Yeah, yeah, all these concerts he go to, yeah, all these artists he listen to. I, I, yeah. yeah. You got to give me the beginning. Of well, the, the people want to know. <laughs> Your top five. Oh, yeah. Your top five. Oh. Come on. Top five. Mm. Your top five. What is it? R&B singers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> R&B songs. <laughs> ah, yeah. We've got to know here on this show. Before you go, don't put on that nose. Put your <laughs> top five. <laughs> yeah. My top five. That's so tough, man. That is. Oh, so yeah, tough. it's not flex. It's your top five uh, R and B singers. Okay, so top five. What do we say here? Because again, dead or alive, we've talked your, about your call. We talked world. about Michael, and I know they said, "Oh, King of Pop," but Mike was R&B. so R and B. R and B for me. He is definitely for all of us there. Okay. Michael and Jackson. Jay, listen. Okay. Oh, ooh, that off the wall, man. Listen. Off the wall, no. Nah. Ooh, that's untouchable. That's all. I can't help it. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Okay. Luther. Ah, come on. Luther. Come on, get some Luther in Gotta there. Have I'm sorry Luther. I'm using the French accent. That's okay. Then. You just tell me. Just tell Gotta have Luther. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, my gosh. Jeffrey Osborne. Mm. Come on, J.O. Come on. Zulu. <laughs> come on. <laughs> ah. Have never been so much. Rich tone. That's a hey, that's a man singer. Listen, yeah, when he sure. say what a difference, he mean what a difference. Different. That's a man singing. It's a grown man. Grown ass man, boy. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, we got that. Um oh gosh, who wanna put in there? I gotta put Gladys Knight. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Gotta yeah. put Gladys and Knight. Come on, Miss Gladys. Incredible voices oh, ever. my God. Soul stirring. Got to have to. Soul stirring. Um, gosh. One more. Mm. You got it. Shaka Khan. <sighs> Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Yeah. Shaka, she Shaka, just Shaka, had Shaka unlimited Shaka Khan. range. Shaka. Yeah. She just saw she her. Just yeah. Going. Nah, yeah. Saw and her she's recently. still out there with the with the fit on, with the hair blowing. I don't know if she mean it. Hitting all the notes. No, no, no. No, it's just saw her. Yeah. She. she she and, I, and it's so hard because how can you forget Whitney? Like, it's so hard, man. Come on, sing, sing the remix to the top. Top eight. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, <laughs> throw Whitney in there. Okay, top eight. Okay, top eight. So okay, we got Whitney. So that's what. That's six. <laughs> That's six. No, no, well, no. It's only. I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. It's forty-five. Well, okay. Well, I, did okay. Buy, I, did buy, I don't listen. I don't, listen, buy, I don't want y'all to veer off of your, you know, your, your norm. <laughs> don't big, veer. Big. No, 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 two okay. more. Go ahead. You, okay. Come, Come on, on, give us two more. Come give on. us two more. Oh my gosh. Um, you said Whitney. Whitney yeah. definitely got to be yeah. here. The voice. Uh huh. The voice always. Um, I, I, and I'm partial. I have to 
put my wife in there. I was going. I, I was going to say to you. I'm just to. trying to figure you out what smoke you want to have. You know you're going to get stabbed no, at some point. No, no, absolutely. Because wife is the turn up. She's not listen, playing them the whole listen, other games. Listen, man. So you talk yeah. about someone who's still, who, who sounds probably even better now. And I told her this. I'm like, after all you've been through, I said, you sound better now than you did back then. And you sound great, but you're, you've lived life. Yeah. yeah. It's a different that, type of richness. That yeah. richness. Yes. That yeah. intention in her yeah. voice. It mm-hmm. is it's just different. The last show she just did, I was just like, yo. And of course, as you guys are, yeah, are you sure? I didn't I didn't think I did this right. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. one more. Um, one more. Hey. Otis Redding. Yeah. Otis Redding. Yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah, you uh, you you named some. He he got a song called I Love You More Than Words Can Say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That so is, is that it. part of your top five R&B songs? Yeah, that is. Okay, let's go to top uh, five R&B songs. R&B songs. Let's go. Right Woo! Okay. Um, Rock With You. Mm-hmm. Rock With You, definitely. Um, dang. What's the... Uh, 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 he do the R and B head movements too. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of us. He been watching one, yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, uh, I, people may not agree, but that, that damn "Cry for You" by Jodeci. Who are you talking to? Cry. Who don't agree? Who, 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 Something who you I don't know. To? But "Cry for We're You" in Jodeci. That st- yeah, I was in there too. I was in that group too. We're in the group. We're in the group. We're, 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 it's all of us. Yeah. What do you I mean? Yes, I was there too. But some people ain't gonna agree with you. Listen, who are they? I don't know. See, we don't know them. But I'ma smack them. Yeah, you, you got yes. them right. "Cry for You." Shh. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So we got we got that. We have that. Uh, um. Uh. Gosh, it's not an original, but still, it's the original was Dionne Warwick, but a house is not a home. Yeah, Why not? yeah, a house is not a home. Why not? Um, doom, 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 mm. doom, mm. doom, 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 doom. Mm. Yeah, um, saving all my love for you. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, I like what you're like doing, Flex man. Is doing, man. Yeah, Flex, you doing. Like you doing, doing your thing on this. Yeah, Come I, I, on, he's, man. He's, he's, he's yeah, cooking. Yeah, the singers, the, the, the songs, all man. of it. Okay, one more song. One more, one more. Oh, gosh. Um, mm, Zoom, the Commodores. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's a life reflecting yeah. song right there. Come on. Yeah. We'll end it with the Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may be just a foolish dreamer. Come on. <laughs> but I don't care. What? Because I know my happiness is waiting for me somewhere. Yeah, that's real song. I'm searching for the silver lining. Tabernacle. I mean, just, yeah. Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, this yeah. is see. See, <laughs> this man knows his R&B. This man yeah. knows his yeah. R&B. Yes. More yes. importantly, he knows how to talk to a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that's where it starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're interested in a woman. Mm-hmm. You remember back in the day, we look- used to have slow jam tapes. Yeah. You look for the words. That was the first mixtape. Th- listen. You, you look for the sonic. When they came over, you hit play on that yeah. cassette. To, yeah. to convey yeah. your <laughs> message. <laughs> Click. Huh? To relay your what? instruction. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. This is this is right. This here. is what we're doing tonight. You know you're everything I do. Oh, come on. That I, mm. ah, come on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to KC. <laughs> what member are and you? JoJo. What member are you? What huh? member are you in Jodeci? Uh I would be KC. You KC? Because I'm just all about the who yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just all about I, the I'm, who I'm all yeah. about the who yeah. Come, come on, man. Wait, 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 listen. Wait, man, K, K, listen. KC. KC. Killer. KC. How could I not a killer. KC. talk about those dudes? He's a killer. I mean, KC, like, just both of them. Just the way they volley off each other, they man. Will, yeah, yeah. And people don't understand the lyrics and, and and a lot of that stuff, especially in that first album, and they're they're known for the my arms are open. Why? That's commission. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. on. That's commission. And just the fact that they threw that in there, Devontae threw that. In. Come to yeah, real church boy, real church boy, real. 
That's what, real. What, what, what member are you? What do you mean? In jealousy. I'm a mixture of Dalvin and Devante. I'm yeah, both. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. I'm Dalvante. That's Dal- I'm ca- <laughs> So I'm K. I'm K. Vante. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Dalvante. I'm K. I'm K. C. I'm K. C. and Devante. Yeah, I'm K. Vante. Yeah, I'm, I'm hybrid. I'm okay. hybrid. Yeah, we yeah, hybrid. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like what you do. We cannot sleep on JoJo. Yeah. Cannot. No, JoJo is the is the is the ultimate utility man. Come yeah. on, he man. does it all. They're two. Oh. They're two guys. That made two of the most amazing groups work. Mm-hmm. JoJo Haley, mm-hmm. Sean Stockman. Oh, talk God. the talk. Wait a minute. How can those I not two talk men. Talk about them. Yeah. Those two men. Those two men. Water run dry. What? Mm. Come, on. Come on. What? Come on. Mm. We don't even we talk, don't even talk anymore. anymore. We don't talk anymore. And we don't even know what we argue about. Because that's usually by, by how it goes. Don't even say I <laughs> love you no more. Come, yeah. come. Why do we hurt each other? Why do we push love away? Let's not Let's wait. Let's not wait until the water runs dry with Jatem. <laughs> oh, I'm serious. Let hey, me get that group out of here, man. <laughs> no, we talking about Josie and Boys and Men. You talking about Jatem? Jatem Duncan over we here. We could have been. Duncan. We could have been champions. <laughs> Think about those words. Let's Yo, not wait till the water runs listen, dry. Listen, I'm a yeah. lyrics dude. Like, yeah. come on, man. Come on, baby face. Prince, how did I forget Prince? We're not going to do this with you. Did, did we get all the songs out or we, we stopped? 85. Did we, did we stop or he did all five? He did five. Okay. Did five. One, two, three, and a time. I'll be there for you. You are my heart and If they call you to play Prince. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm hey, hey. No, and I'm once leaving that alone. Once again, you got to remind them. I'm six, I'm six, six four. four. It's not happening. No, hey, like, no. fuck it, do it. No. Fuck hey, it. Hey, like, come on, doing this. Fuck it. Six, four. Fuck it. I'm not your lover. I'm not your friend. I am something that you never comprehend. Do it. Do it for oh me. Gosh, Do it for me. Oh my God. I carry your bags every day. Do oh, it. My God. Yeah, okay. Listen, so, so much great music. Man. Okay, okay. We're going to make a Voltron. <laughs> okay. A super R&B ooh, artist. Ooh, ooh. Super yeah. R&B artist. Ooh. We're going to take mixtures of all artists from, from everywhere. I want to okay. know who you're going to get the vocal from. The performance style, the styling, and the heart of the artist, the passion of the artist. Who are you going to get the vocal, the one vocal for your super R&B artist? I, got, I, I have to put my wife there. Mm-hmm. I have to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because she's so uh, underrated. I'm not going to argue with you. And she's so looked you get, over. You get no argument. Not going to argue. And with was the catalyst for a lot of these young girls starting. I mm-hmm. have, I have her and Tamia mm. in this space mm. that I that is like when it's you called see, vocal royalty. Sh- mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, come on, you, you sign a deal at eleven. Mm. And your Them two are first singles at 14. Of their yeah. own, yes. where it's like, me, oh, okay, forget to me. God, what dog, is it's so that? many. Like, so what she's, is, yeah. so she's okay. that voice right there. Shiny's performance the voice. style. Performance style. Um, performance style. Uh, wow. Oh, Got to throw Michael in there. Mm hmm. Gotta put Michael. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Shani's voice, Michael Jackson <clears throat> moves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? My lights. Yeah. Toaster. Mm-hmm. You know, I want a toaster. Um styling. Styling. Mm-hmm. Um would have to be like hmm. Funky. Because that's then, but then now. Styling. Uh, oh, mm, easy. I would say, it, I mean, because in the height, it, Whitney. Hmm. Whitney. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Because she could go with the jean and the motorcycle mm-hmm, jacket mm-hmm. and she could throw the gown. Throw yeah. the gown on. Yeah. yeah. Stand flat foot. Yeah. She could do it all. Yeah. Do it all. Do it all. Mm-hmm. Um, the passion of the artist, the heart. Mm. Dang, can you do a double, Michael? Sing it through your soul. You, you would you like can. to? Yes, Gotta you can. Do. Got yeah. to. Yeah. Yes, you can. Uh, I don't think yeah. there was anybody as passionate as him. He meant it. 
Bastard. He meant it. And I, I got I got one more for him. Okay. Go, I, you you probably uh, about to say what I'm about to say. Go ahead. Uh, who gonna play him in the biopic? You stupid man. <laughs> who gonna play this artist uh, in the biopic? Definitely <laughs> not me. That's for sure. Tank, Tank is going to I'm in. Definitely. Tank's in. Sign me up. I'm, yeah, yeah. Not me this time. Shit, I'm in. I've had enough. If Flex can do it, I can do it. Go ahead. Uh, who's going to do the choreography for this artist? Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, um, Travis Payne. Travis Payne. Give us some, give us some backstory on yeah, Travis, Travis Payne. Travis Payne choreographed for Janet for Michael he was the one in This Is It we saw him a lot and oh okay then, oh, sure, yeah okay. Uh, Ballhead Travis Payne is is a, a legend in, in this business wow yeah choreographed for much more than I can remember but shout out to his, Travis Payne his, his, his not just choreography staging what you wear all the stuff oh full creative he, direction full creative yeah. he's a creative director for sure okay yes Mm-hmm. Shout out to him. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah we got one more thing for you, brother. Before we let you go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know. I ain't saying no names. Hey, I ain't saying no names. Hey, I ain't saying no names. Hey. I ain't saying no names. Hey. Hey. Who is Who is weird? What you did? Don't say shit. I ain't said no nay. And the stylings of Rance Allen. Oh, I ain't saying no names. Okay, break this down. So, we've come to the segment of this show. Mm hmm. When you tell us a story, mm. funny or fucked up, mm -hmm. or funny and fucked up, mm. and the travels of flex, mm. the things you've seen, the things you've experienced, it could be any of those things. Oh, I got two. It's Ooh. only rule, one rule to the game. One rule to the game. What's that? You can't say no names. Okay. Okay. First one is, at a memorial service, uh, meet this, this, this brother. Uh, can I say what they do? I can say, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. rapper, entertainer, people love him. Going to the bathroom, sees me. Oh man, what's up, Flex? Oh, yo, fan man, growing up. Why, oh man, cool, me too. Big fan of you. That moment, all right, cool. Come out, like, hey man, hey, let's let's get together, you know, get to lunch, whatever. I'm, I'm like, bat man, hey, boo, 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 boo. all right, man, I hit you up. Hit him up. Mm -hmm. Hit him up. Mm -hmm. Hit him up. Never heard from that person again. Gave me the fugazi. Yeah, gave me the fugazi. I have a pet peeve with that. If you don't mean it, don't do the faking move. Don't do that. Right. Yeah. I'm, don't leave me on red. Okay. That's after one. they tell you. After they tell me. Yeah. Hit me up. After they pull out phone. Hey. They, okay. That's one. Second one. At a funeral? Yeah, At it's a outside. funeral? Yes, yeah, outside. That's yeah, it's terrible. Um, second one. Was working for this person as a dancer. And in rehearsals, I've been doing some things I guess they were not happy with. Um, imitating them. And uh, They so, don't know you're a comedian yet. Uh, no, not at that time. Okay. No. So uh, we have a show. Uh, we go... Sound check. I do it again. Uh, there was another dancer, a little, little hater. He used to dance for Hammer, and I guess he goes back and tells said person, "I am in my hotel room, getting ready for the show." Blah blah blah. Get a knock on the door. Bro, manager. Hey man, yo, um, get your get your stuff together. So, oh, yo, you know, the show's not till seven thirty. Not for you. He's a plane ticket. You've been fired. Yeah, was removed from my hotel room, put on the plane, back to New York, missed out on that whole tour. Yeah. For imitating him. Imitating Were you doing a bad impersonation? <laughs> <laughs> it was just, yeah. Don't do me. Don't, do, don't play with me like that. Yeah. Flex. And, and they knew I was just a jovial guy, da, da, da. But, you know, it might have been some other stuff. I don't know, but... Yeah, they didn't. They didn't like that. 
<laughs> if you are on tour, you almost did the voice, but I'm a little bit. <laughs> you almost did the voice. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, and it's that said person always, you know, if I'm at a show that they're doing currently, it always they love to tell that story. Oh, they I'm, still tell a story. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fired this nigga. Yeah, yeah, I tried to fire this nigga uh, But I fired you So you could become Who you became <laughs> yeah, I thanked him actually I said hey man Thank you Because it pushed me Because I said I ain't never Gonna let nobody Fire me again Yeah nah, That's true Oof. Wait. Haters <sighs> You know, wait till, wait till I tell you after you you gonna because you doing it. No, we never know. <laughs> no, we never know. No, you never know. Edit. Okay, no okay. one ever tells us. Okay, my bad. Tell I won't yeah. tell. My, yeah. I did not know. It's always my a bad. secret. It's a secret. Shh. Yeah. Right, um, <laughs> brother Flex, uh, entertainer extraordinaire. Yeah. Um, former Hooper. Yes. Um, no, avid I'm golfer now. Avid golfer. golfer. Oh no, he listen because because he be golfing with like Michael Jordan and all of them. Yeah, 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 and I told him yeah. one day, I said, "Man, anytime y'all gonna do that Michael Jordan thing, man, just hit me." He said, "Okay, I'm gonna call you." I'm gonna call you. <laughs> hey, he's like, "That was a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> a little tricky on that." <laughs> like how you say you don't like the Fugazi. He didn't give me the Fugazi. He didn't give me the Fugazi. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's a little tricky. I see what I can do. <laughs> Put in the word for you. I might get you some juice. I get you some juice. But don't count on it. But don't count. On it. <laughs> oh man. Um, man, you 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 one of my favorite human beings. Man. Uh, yeah, you bro. as well, man. It's Both of y'all. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like you said, man. You 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 come from that place. I think that we all come from, man. I think we share that nuance. Um, but we also, man, we 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 are brothers and we've been family. Yes, since. sir. For for, man, for long a long time, time man. That was a long time. I'm man. glad I ran into you on that plane. Yeah. No, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's, uh, I'm just glad that I I got to, you know, come here and 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 just share a little more about you know my story because yeah. when you do, you don't really look back at your career. I know I didn't, and really, you know, think to myself, man, did I really do anything? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And I look yeah. and I go, man. Historically, I mean, I was the first hip hop dancer to transition from hip hop into television and film. Yeah. Yeah. Before J Lo, before yeah. all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, okay, yeah, I did that, you know? And I just look at the benchmarks and um I just thank you for letting me just, you know, talk about a little Absolutely. bit a little bit of it here. Anytime. <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime, Anytime bro. bro. And the music. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you keep tapping back into that mic. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you saw that right there. Comes out every it? now. It's in, every now and then. Woo! Yeah, a little bit. Every now and then, man, it's, it's it's in my heart. I'm about to hit you in the head with some baby powder. It's, it's in my heart, man. <laughs> Jay Valentine, you're you're horrible, horrible, you're Eugene. Horrible, horrible, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tay. I'm Jay Valentine. <laughs> Flex Alexander. And this is the r Buddy <laughs> Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. <laughs> yeah. And man, this is our loved one. This is our, our brother. brother, man. Appreciate y'all, man. man. Thank Flex you, Alexander. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Come over. Appreciate you, brother. Ah, appreciate you, man. Ah. <laughs>